<laughs> we got Louis C.K. in Louis. studio. What's up, Louis? Hi. Hi. I Louis thought you forgot big, about us. A no. big star. Oh, no. Jesus. <laughs> Louis C.K., <laughs> that picture maker made him a big star. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great if you went up to Jesse Ventura back then and said, later when you're bald. <laughs> yeah. Here's, how Here's yeah. what my comment will be on that. When he was 21 and I was like, uh, maybe I was one or not born yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wait. And wait. When a movie called Rocky Horror Picture Show comes yeah. out, there's a guy that's going to be called Riff Raff in there, and your hair is going to be like his. And he said that when I was 21, I'd have cut his baby balls off. Yeah. yeah. I'd have pulled them down out of his abdomen because they hadn't dropped yet. I love that. He couldn't avoid it yesterday. I just oh, love that. But, but do you understand how somebody who tries to be intellectual... These f I fucking hate these big guys that think they're smart, and they always revert to that. It's like, why would you even have to go to that? It's like if me and Louie or me and Voss or anybody were having an argument, it would just be two guys insulting each other. But when one guy is that size, these, these fucking dummies always go back to, I would do that. Shut up. You know up. what I could do to you? Well, and then you would go to jail because it would be wrong and illegal. Exactly. Yes. They just sit here and act like an ape and fucking be big. <laughs> then don't sit there and try to make points and get mm -hmm. mad. Yes. Fucking, I just hate large guys that you... Stop thinking that's your ace in the hole, idiot. Is he a 9-11 conspiracy Of course guy? Oh, he is. Boy, is he? Wow. Do you remember once Jim and I were at this cellar and we were leaving and there was a group of people outside of like a little convention hall and they were all wearing t-shirts that say, you know, the government did 9-11. Of course they did. And we realized that they're, they're having a convention for that, like a group meeting. Yeah. But we catch them outside and they're just... It's after the meeting, so they're just uh, socializing and they're laughing and smiling and stuff. Going, hey Rachel, hey, it's great to see you. And <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like odd, they're yeah. just like, yeah, the, they're not talking about nine eleven now. They see each other all the time, so now that it's 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 developed Inter that they're just pals. Life. And and uh, Jim was imitating one of them, going like, all right, well, it's, it's great to see you. Let's have dinner tomorrow. And I uh, remember steel wouldn't melt at that temperature. Bye anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I get yeah, home they safe. Throw one of those things <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. Controlled explosion. Yeah. Remember, keep your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. Uh, uh, we know how it's going with your dog later. Hope that works out. You know? Yeah. Hope your uh, dog doesn't crash like the government did. Hey, easy now. It's time to go home. Unbelievable. <laughs> Leave it. You know, don't bring it home with you. <laughs> the worst. Don't bring it home with you. <laughs> Leave it there at the convention. Louis, are we people. promoting Carolines or what? Is yeah, that I'm the deal? This weekend. Oh, fuck. Sell it you out. Even oh, need you promoting. Need promoting. Just stop it now, Louis. Stop being Sunday, silly. <laughs> Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday the first. No, morning. Sunday the first show is a benefit for my kids' school, so the tickets are a little more. Oh, wait. But, uh oh, so oh can you hear floor. this? Wow, Louis is doing a lot of fucking shows. Louis is doing a uh, famous shows. guy amount of shows. Famous guy <laughs> amount. <laughs> yeah. Louis, Louis doing Thursday night, seven thirty and ten. Friday, seven thirty and ten. I think we're adding one Friday. Oh, good. Happy Holy for you. Shit. Saturday. <laughs> Happy for you. Oh, thank you. Saturday, right. seven thirty, ten, and midnight, and then Sunday, seven and nine thirty. So Louis is doing ten shows. Yeah, seven... He's doing three shows Friday and three shows Saturday. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens wow. when people <laughs> do. do... <laughs> This guy, this guy didn't need more shows. He'd be just he'd be up doing Tuesdays. <laughs> Change the name of the place to Louis C.K. Lines. <laughs> yeah. pretty good. The only, the only other person that I, I ever saw do that was uh, Brian Regan, I believe. Kevin Hart, too. Kevin Hart does it? it makes me Holy sick. Holy shit, Louis. What Why are you je jealous? That's like a kid who plays softball being jealous of, of A-Rod. There's no point. <laughs> I mean, it's just so, so far out of your league. That is true. You <laughs> know, as if it's, oh, it's so close. It's right, right there for there. you. No. Yeah. But let's equate it to us a little away. bit more. That's like the sniffles being jealous of AIDS. <laughs> 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 Fucking Louie, man. 212-757-4100. Really? He will sell out 10 shows. don't have to give the number out or nothing. Louie will sell out This is a no-brainer. And the benefit for my kids' show on Sunday at 7, by the way, is not a benefit. It doesn't feel... We're not Benefity. Gonna, we're not going to talk to you about the silly stuff. You're just going to do I comedy. hate when people pay tickets oh. for a cause... But they pay it because they're like, hey, I get to see the show. The reward for giving money to this cause is seeing the show. It's seeing the show. And then you go to the show and they go, these kids need us. Yeah, I know they need us. That's why I'm fucking here. I'm here. So give me the show. Right. You know, we've we've had a few laughs this evening. But yeah, let's keep doing that. Please. I'd like to uh, <laughs> just get serious for a moment. Yeah, but let's cancer's not, you no idiot. laughing matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Hey, Nobody, now, but, Louis C.K., ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> right, right, you right, got to yeah. follow some what? speech. Yeah, cancer's no laughing matter, but comedy is. And that's yeah, what yeah, I paid yeah. for, you <laughs> asshole. You know, uh, I visited shit. a hospital and saw a bunch of young children without legs. <laughs> we got a short Louis film. Louis C.K. We got a short yeah. film we want to uh, show oh, you God, before God, we put the comedy out. Film. Yes, children who have gargled <laughs> with landmines. <laughs> Any, anything worse <laughs> Anything worse when, when they say we got a short film for you? Oh, you don't want to watch it. Some kid with a cleft palate, oh, missing yeah, an arm. Yeah. Those cleft palate kids from foreign countries all piano over the music. side of the buses dun, dun, and billboards. Were you guys ever? Oh, yeah, the, the dead guy piano music. Dead guy piano music. Were you guys ever in a spot like that? What, what do you mean? Basically what we're talking about. Do you remember one incident where you had to follow something? Oh, shit, yeah. Where you're like, what the fuck yeah, am I uh, doing trying to tell jokes for now? monkey wrench. Here at Town Hall, I did a, a benefit for, uh, the, it was it, it was a good cause. It was... Uh, Giving money to families uh, with veterans and their family, you know, some, you yeah, know, great cause. Where, sure. where the where the uh, the VMA or whatever it's called, or the, the I don't give a fuck what it Video is. Video Music Awards. <laughs> the, the VMA, <laughs> which all that money goes to veterans. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Um, it was a show at Town Hall, and Brian Williams uh, hosted it, and it was wow. this big. So they had all these. So right before <laughs> they brought me on, this oh. guy who's uh, by the also already ruining it by not having any stage presence. Like a guy went up, this is just wonderful. All these performers who give their time. I just want to read a letter, and his oh, no. voice is shaking, and he no. takes out a letter, and his hands are shaking, and he reads a letter about a woman who has five kids and lost her husband in oh, Iraq, and just oh, a list of the list. It wasn't like a, here's how they helped me. It's like, here's how bad I was, and at the end, so thanks, Louis C.K. Louis literally C. Oh, my brought me on to that. Very somber. It would, be, it would be great, a somber introduction. Yeah. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, put your hands together. Louis. Louis C.K. Well, the yeah. comedy styling. Louis. And then you go on, Louis and people C. are literally, I'm looking at people wiping Crying. tears away. Oh, okay. How did you do? Um, I did great. I had a good time. Did but you mention what happened? No, I mean, that's the thing. Your first thought when you're in the wings, I mean, those these things happen a lot. If you do any benefits and you think to yourself oh. uh, the whole time, the first thought you have is like, do I make fun of this? Do I go on there and go, hey, uh, uh, dead soldier, thanks for, I got to follow a dead yeah. Marine. Yeah, that's, that's And then you tough. realize just the second you grab the mic, you go, no, 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 People can <laughs> shift gears. People aren't retarded. I think performers have that thing they and think. And they did come this there is it. to laugh. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You know. The audience is just as bummed out. They're like, oh, jeez. Thanks a There's lot. A lot of yeah. them were soldiers, and they're like, oh, I know eight guys that died last yeah. week. I don't want to fucking hear about it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Let me come up and read my letter. Yeah. Yeah, what about my letter? My wife had a letter. <laughs> Fucking bitch didn't send it. <laughs> the only thing you could mention is maybe the idea that somebody would do something really sad before introducing you without yeah. getting to, because Otto had to follow yeah. some like fireman's benefit where they were showing like a montage of dead firemen or whatever it Holy was. Holy shit. And it was like, how do you go on a after that? I dead. suck a cock, suck yeah. a cock. <laughs> yeah, I think he addressed it. it. Probably didn't go as well as planned. Unbelievable, man. Like his career. Calm down, <laughs> calm down, George. Like when he's got a calm Easy, down. George. Yeah. Easy, Easy, George. George. He, he grabs the front of George. Yeah, I they... hate dead firemen. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Easy, now, George. George. We're here in front of a lot of firemen, George. And he's fucking grabbing George's shirt. <laughs> like George wants to run away. But Otto said the most basic <laughs> Otto aunt, aunt Otto Nuts. things. I love it. George, <laughs> now, <laughs> firemen are good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> Otto will say like this basic non soothing yeah, thing. Suckers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I love touching big, big fucking fat hoses, yeah, you yeah, fucking <laughs> homo. Yeah. No, now, George. Now, come on. No, no, they're good people that put out fires. They should put out cock. <laughs> <laughs> Just piss the fire out. Piss it out. out. Piss it out. <laughs> no, George, don't. It's funny. He's fucking hysterical. Yeah, he is. <laughs> hey, we got food in front of us. Louis settled oh, in. Yeah. So why don't we take a quick break? And, I uh, like the way you think. Why don't Louis we catch up with Louis C.K. after the break? Louis right. having oranges and, like, cappuccino, which that combination always bothers my stomach. That's going to More to come. <laughs> yeah. Very happy. Louis, Louis C.K. in studio. Our pal, our friend. Louis Jean. And he's playing Caroline's. Honestly, just get your tickets. They're selling like like, like crazy. 
I People hate when we say that like crazy. Me. What happened? Harry me, Lou. I'm eating. Harry, <laughs> they're, they're <selling> you. <laughs> Harry me. Guy who gives bad examples. They're selling like petri dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Hot selling potatoes. Like petri dishes. Hot cakes. Hot well, potatoes. you'd be surprised. Those labs really need. Them. I mean, they there do sell go. pretty good. That's what I meant. So Louis, we're talking about Louis' show, and it's going well. And uh, I just the, the one thing I did for I can say that it's fucking really well written, man. And and watching you with a camera, it was amazing to me like how you see things differently than other people do. Like the things you were looking for, the the shots, the panning. It was like I would just shoot everybody's face head on. <laughs> but it yeah. was really interesting to watch. Like, you know, do do this, move the camera this way, and then you, you could see it on the monitor. It's like God Jimmy damn was, that looks Jimmy good. came back after he did a little something for your mm -hmm. new show and That's he was right. just praising you. Going, yeah, Where Jimmy. did you pick that up? Is it just something you Well, I love it. I love photography and stuff. Yeah. I love well, ma making movies is one of my favorite things ever. And, you introduced uh, everybody uh, on this very program to the flip Wait, he was the first guy. Cam. Yes, that's right. He was the first guy that came in here and goes, no "Check this out." And I yes. was like, "I went out that day and bought one." Mm -hmm. And then they came out with the HD flip. Mm -hmm. Like we all have them a, a week later, they came out with the HD Everybody flip. So I bought that flips. one. I got like four now. Yeah, I, I, yeah, just I have keep, them kind of laying around the house. I got them like all over the place. Yeah. yeah, you gotta leave them all over just in case something happens. You yeah. have one. Exactly. They're yeah. they're actually excellent because of the of, I'm doing an ad for them, but you know because of that SD, you know the fact that you can plug them in the computer. Yeah, plug so them right in. Don't need batteries. That's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. The battery stinks in the two hour one too. It always shows that it's running out. Yeah, and then they came out with a new one that takes batteries. Fucking idiots! Wow. Fuck yeah. flip. Hope they, they fucking hope, <laughs> hope they go down. Yes, no. I hope they hope they flip. It's oh, might have fallen on their backs oh, or something. Shit. I'll no. tell you when I got my last flip, I did not flip. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, that's, that's a good they, one. They gotta pump up this technology and make it where you could where you could send your video immediately right from the flip. Well, that's Instead what plug it in. That's got to be the next thing they that's do. That's this thing there's still like I there's it's a phone or is it a this or a that? But that to me that's an, a, a, a you know camera what? that just has some cellular ability to send. But I can I with the iPhone them, yeah. I could take video and with send the iPhone. It, with the iPhone. I, so everything's a commercial now. Yeah. I could just take a video and put it on Twitter. So what the right. fuck's the difference? For 20 minutes until it the batteries die, right? Don't well, they stink that well, way? Uh, you always got to be near the, a plug. The new yeah. BlackBerry <laughs> will continue the commercials. Mm. They up their video big time in this. Yeah, oh. I'm finding myself using the BlackBerry yes, uh, a little more than I used to, and, yes. and leaving the HD flip at home. Oh, yeah. stop with the BlackBerry. BlackBerry is the best one, dude. I'm no, telling you, I had not. both an iPhone and a BlackBerry. I'm telling you, the video on the black, the brand new BlackBerry, I think is at least comparable to the iPhone now, yes, if not boy. better. I'm telling you, I, I think it's better. Fuck iPhone. Yeah, and Louis would know. I dumped Fuck my iPhone in that little today. fucking oh, square yesterday. at the bottom. Wait, you're done with it? I dumped it. No, I'm waiting. I'm 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 feeling a dip coming. How much was it when you? Dumped I'm it? feeling a dip coming. See, it's I, called Steve Jobs' uh, death. One, it was at <laughs> one uh one twenty five. I got uh two twenty five. Wow. I got in at one or two two twenty, and punched out uh, at two twenty five. So it's like all right. I'll do that, and then I'll I'll try to get back in again when it takes a dip. I bought Apple at twenty five dollars a share once. I remember. <sighs> Did you really? Yeah. Did you sell? He bought two shares. He's still holding on to them. <laughs> he goes to three hundred thousand a share. I'm in. <laughs> Are you still doing the gold thing? No, I mean I've got You're the, out of the gold, gold. The gold coins that I bought back then, I still have them. They're like junk now. They're all scratched up. <laughs> they're just they're in a gold. jar with some pencils. They're golden. When we first yeah. met Louis, he'd have pocket money and he'd run down to the gold store after our show to buy well, some gold because we were close to that. And that's back it. when I was married, and you hoard cash when you're in a bad marriage. <laughs> you hoard like I used to get paid in cash. Like I'd do a gig and I'd get partial payment in cash. Oh wait, I so I wouldn't it. have to fucking argue about when right. I took money out of the bank. I just had cat wads of cash. You just hide it hidden in fucking diapers. No, I bought it 200. Holy. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I was going to say. I bought it 200. <laughs> That's smart. And got out at 224 and change. Can I say I love when comedians or people I know are doing these, like, they're into these hobbies. Like, for Louis, it was coins. Like, Bob Kelly will talk to. It's like, what are you doing? Dad, just buying herbal supplements. <laughs> <laughs> or Patrice. I remember Patrice recently, like, maybe a year ago, we were away shooting something, and he was buying, he was buying tea. Patrice was on his tea kick, right. so we're in this Boston mall, and uh, he's buying like a, a, a you know a big tea netty pot. And what kind of teas you got? It's like you're gonna drink this for two weeks and then be back to fucking Swiss Miss and unhealthy shit. Well, I love my friends try to be healthy. Well, because comedians just live in malls, 
and they just kill time all day. Yeah. And so Patrice just wandered into a tea store. And that was it. That was next to whatever, you know, fat black guy store was <laughs> he was in before. Exactly. Holy it, was either, it was either fucking Foot Locker or an arcade. They have those now. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Malls do suck, man. Half yeah. those stores are worthless. Yeah. That's why really? I can't work clubs. I can't work clubs anymore that are in malls. That's too yeah. depressing. Oof. Like Columbus, yeah. Ohio has a great uh, funny bone. It's one of the best clubs in the country. I never did it. So good, great crowds, always full, well-run club, um, and they. Uh, but it's right in a mall. It's indoors in a mall, and it that just feels bad. Yeah, to be next to the fucking Frogert place. <laughs> Frogert, you know, <laughs> Forever Twenty One. Uh, although, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I shop there. Yeah, sure. Because you missed Freddy, you thought it was Forever Eleven. Sure. <laughs> 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 I don't mind the mall ones as much. The mall is a good time killer. I like staying in hotels that are attached to the mall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you just kind of, yeah, you go down in the fucking elevator, you walk around, have yeah, a Starbucks. It's, it's, what's, it's what's, your robe? what's your favorite mall <laughs> <Nude>. store? <laughs> I don't know. I, I like the big, uh, you know, Macy's fucking whatever. It just it kills time. <laughs> Macy's. Macy's. What are you doing in Macy's? <laughs> shirts to buy a, maybe a sports coat. They sell mm, kiss nice. shirts at Macy's. Uh, maybe a, a gentleman's performing shirt. Oh. Maybe I say tonight I would like a, a sport coat, please. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't. I hate all of that. I mean, because when I started uh. as a kid, I had this picture that I was going to be in nightclubs. You yeah, know, like someplace with a neon sign outside and a, a pimp outside, and you know, somewhere I mean? where yeah. maybe Sinatra played. Yeah, exactly. Back in you know way back. Yeah, for you know black room. formica yeah. tables. And, yeah, you know, candle on it. Yeah, waiters and tuxedos. <laughs> right. stuff, you know, mobsters in the front row, and, <laughs> like fucking Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah. that's what right. a table out and it puts exactly. a fucking light on there. Well, how about you amend the dream? Player. So? How about you amend the dream? When I was a kid, I thought I'd walk on the moon, and I wound up sucking my friend's dick. Life doesn't always work out the way we think, Lou. <laughs> you probably had more fun than the guys in the moon. You bet I did. <laughs> one small one. <laughs> is this a new Prius story, or is this the same one, Ant? There's a couple of them. There's a, uh, yes, there's yesterday, a few of them now? Was, yesterday there was one uh, with the, the uh, trooper that had to get in front of it. A la chips. Two new cases are saying. Stop. And then there's a Fucking woman that was uh, coming out of some guy's driveway. She's some cleaning woman, and she um, uh, had a runaway Prius that hit a big stone wall. I think. Uh, and now there's a new guy that his car fucking ran off. I think Bill Burr was onto something, man. I don't think the government wants us driving Priuses. You, you like the, the hybrid thing, and Bill Burr was well, like, "That's an interesting notion." Bill Burr's like, all of a sudden, they're, you know what it is. the hybrids are yeah. out of control. It's the government, yeah. the oil companies, they don't want uh, and Bill Burr with his conspiracy. Well, it could be the uh, car. It could be the American car companies. Well, yeah, that too. They, they, that too. Sabotage. Oh, He's a victim of sabotage. <laughs> 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 yeah, they uh they're having a problem though because they can't figure this shit out. They yeah. they they said it was the rugs at first hitting the fucking gas pedal, turned mm-hmm. out that wasn't it. And now they're trying to say, look, it's not in the electronics. Because if it's in the electronics, they are truly fucked yeah, forever. Because they can't figure it out. No. I think now I'm not positive about this, the Prius. Mm-hmm. But I think the Prius braking system is uh, electromagnetic resistance yeah, instead it, of it absorbs some of the but also yeah, it uses braking. the energy from, from like the brakes. A, yeah, yeah but what, the problem is that they can't hit the brakes the problem is that it's accelerating it's accelerating but the, pro- the, the, the it's like a double problem because when it's accelerating the brakes don't fucking work like people have tried to jam uh, down on the brakes and nothing happens they actually know what the problem is they put the b and the g on the wrong pedals <laughs> fucking cunts. You are an asshole. <laughs> fucking horrid. Imagine <laughs> some company Jesus. just deciding to make the gas pedal the fat one to the left. That's yeah, all it is. The brake pedal the skinny hey, one to the right. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> just fucking, we just don't want to be like the other guys. We're different. That's all it is. <laughs> Very simple. Hey, get used to it. Get over yeah, it. Get used to it. It's your fucking it. problem. <laughs> You've been driving your whole life and now you got to get used to that. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, God. Yeah, but they use like what, what in essence is a, a generator. On the wheels, right. So uh, well, that's the, probably complicated. The yes. more power you're you're uh, generating through braking, yeah. it charges up the battery and shit right. like that. But 
apparently these things aren't working when the thing decides to fucking take Because it's not just off. a basic caliper brake yeah, grabbing it's a mechanical, thing. You know, it's something that's worked for thousands of years. Yeah. Friction yeah. is a good braking system. It's an awfully good one. When you have uh, no, I fucking had the, coiled copper. I had this <laughs> problem with a... I had a 64 Ford Falcon once that I was... I used to buy old cars and spend a lot of time under them and stuff. And So I had the 64 Ford Falcon and the motor mounts... The, you know, these are just old cars. Oh, and the, dude, I've had that happen. And the motor just sits in there on these rubber mounts. It's just bolted in. But I'm, the mounts start to get corroded because the rubber just well, starts exactly to get old and, it, and the rubber uh, starts shrinking. Yeah. And then because the rubber shrinks, the bolts get loose. <laughs> oh, shit. And so then the m motor just rattles in there. And <laughs> yeah. a couple of the mounts were just no good. So what would happen is I would accelerate. Mm. And when you accelerate, the motor torques, and it yeah. kind of like lifts Lift up, up a little bit. <laughs> so what the motor would do is it would lift, as it lifted out of its mount, it would pull on the accelerator <laughs> yeah. cable. And so then, How if you put, happen? if you went half down, <laughs> then the then the then the uh, accelerator pedal would just slap <laughs> down onto the floor, <laughs> and suddenly sick. you're fucking bombing <laughs> towards the car in front of you, yeah. and you're standing on the brakes using the steering wheel to pull yourself <laughs> down, and just don't go fuck 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 fuck. I went off a road once because I was going towards the guy behind me, and I saw the dude's head snap over to his <laughs> like oh, suddenly shit. there's this old. Car, <laughs> and I had to veer off and go into some grass. And <laughs> that is so fucking funny. But yeah. you probably think you were just a reckless asshole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But think, it happened all yeah. the time. I think everybody that has gone through the point of buying like old piece of shit yeah. cars yeah. and stuff has had that happen to them. Oh, yeah. oh, because at, <laughs> at some point, the engine has to be separated from the frame by rubber. Mm -hmm. And you can't bolt the rubber to the metal. No, you can't. Because it defeats the purpose. So, in essence, it's fucking glued on a plate. Yeah, basically. Glue is holding your engine in. Yeah, basically. And and when that thing rips off like that, gets old, yeah, I've had it happen. You step on the, the gas pedal, and the pedal just... Goes it's like down. a ghost. It just yeah, like <laughs> a went, ghost hey, pressed the fucking let's pedal go down. For a ride. And that's pure mechanical. That's yep. all mechanical. It's just yep. a matter of there is a length of cable yeah. for the gas, and that's when the it. engine lifts up, it pulls. On it, it needs a little more cable than you got, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so it pulls on the gas pedal. Yep, it's taking up some slack from under your foot. Oh man! Oh, that was so scary when that would happen. So horrible! Fuck! 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 I went into a couple of intersections. I mean, because I couldn't oh, get rid of the car. God. I needed the car. You ever had? You just I, live I, with it. I it <laughs> just had. I had like a, a an old fucking '66 Mustang. And uh, just brought it back from getting the brakes fixed. Mm -hmm. And I was coming down a hill, stepped on the brakes. I just heard a bang, and the fucking pedal slammed to the floor. Jesus. Nothing. I had nothing. Jesus. I zipped across a pretty busy road <laughs> uh, with a sump right on the other side of the road. Oh, and Jesus. had to cut the wheels, hit the sump fence. And, like, all I'm thinking is how many times I've seen behemoth tractor trailers of <laughs> jet fuel yeah. like going down this fucking road Jesus. and i just happened to miss it missed everything got right through it but Amazing. man the heart was fucking oh, yeah. jamming that's and, my mother had a pinto oh when yeah, I was those a kid. Were notorious and she got the carburetor replaced but the, she found out later the guys who put the carburetor in just didn't bolt it in. They didn't. They, they hand tightened it mm -hmm. and then went to lunch and nobody ever. Tough, <laughs> right? So she's in the middle of an intersection. She suddenly smells gas like crazy. And because the carburetor has just fallen out and there's just fuel spewing. <laughs> fuel. <laughs> and so she Over goes to. Hot the, engine, the light huh? turns green and she t hit, touches the gas and the front, f whole front of the car explodes. Wow. Boom! She remembers. She remember her telling me that the whole dashboard of the car, like, Holy was shit. flames for a second, and they sucked back in. Like they just wow flames that went right up wow. to her and then sucked back in. And so it was strictly amateur hour. Yeah, <laughs> but she got out of the, she got out of the car, which was in gear. So it was started. This flaming car just started moving through this intersection. And she just watched her car on oh fire. So she put on big glasses and continued being a bookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what happened. Though. The casino, yeah. the, the flames right. came out of the air conditioning vents and then yeah. kind of sucked, sucked back, back in. in. Yep, yeah. exactly. Oh, that well, is Well, it's a good thing your mother had pause attraction. If she didn't have pause attraction, <laughs> she never would have been able to jump the curb at the intersection. <laughs>
cousin Louie. What's that? Of course. My cousin Louie? Vinny. My cousin Louie. Fucking, how easily influenced are you? Hey, it's a, it's a Louie lips now. Anything with Louie? Oh, my fucking bag is itchy. Uh, is it? Oh. Making some cheese, are you? My, my balls are itching like the dickens right now. <laughs> are you doing the um, thumb and forefinger no. uh, I'm squeeze, pin roll, pinch and roll on the, the back? Pinch and roll no, is the I'm best. doing the pick up and drop quickly method. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Like where you just kind of like grip and let your fingers slide off it. I like that one. It's like you're trying to pick That's up a basset it. hound. Uh, the pinch and roll is, is where it's at, Jim. It is, pinch but I can't, I can't get my I, fingers I, around I, it. I want to do that. I'm right going to pinch and roll. I'm going to pinch and roll. Let's all scratch our balls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you roll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. I don't think do, do girls have anything on them they need to pinch and roll for for an itch. Just really, really fat nothing. girls have big fat pussy lips. You think they, they have can to pinch sort of, and roll? They can. Yeah. yeah. Or they scoot on the carpet like a fat dog. Yeah. yeah. Is there well, skinny dogs Like do I don't know, can is there a female equivalent to the pleasure of getting a good ball scratch in I don't on know. a little itchy moment? I don't think they, they could do that with their pussy like, lips, oh, right? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's like if you were a dog you your leg would get going. Yeah. I was that's in like a, such a great itch. I was in an elevator in an airport once and there was this woman wearing just a sundress who's really fat and sweaty. Oh, oh. She's wearing a sundress and it was summertime and I fucking smelled this reek and I knew right away I was like that's your I wanted to turn her and say that's your pussy isn't it you fuck <laughs> Animal. That's your pussy. <laughs> I mean, I knew it wasn't like her body odor Holy or something. Shit. It was that. I'm like, that's oh fuck. I'm smelling your fucking pussy like I'm eating it right now. <laughs> God damn it, you! And she's just standing there with her luggage. I dare her? Yeah. Uh, it, this like leads... someone's got to sit on a flight with her all the way to oh, Korea God. or Hopefully something. Hopefully, she's going to the Mayo Clinic to die. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> hey, at least to this, you're dating, uh, Lou. What? Are you dating? Yeah, I mean, well, I have a, a steady girlfriend oh, okay. right now. Yeah. Going well? Very well, yeah. I guess there's no happy. jokes here. I just no, want to see no, if no you're doing jokes. Okay That's the thing. Once you find somebody and you <laughs> right. care for them, yeah. they're more funny. Boo. 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 Exactly. For love. Exactly. Well, you were dating there for a while after the divorce. I was. I was fucking uh, some women in the puss hole. <laughs> sticking my dick in their pussies. And a boy, Lou. Do the uh, kids like her? Squeezing their tits. What? The kids like her? Yeah, they do. That's important, right? Yeah, sure. If I guess. Going serious. I don't know. The they don't have right. to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> but if they would. <laughs> uh, people but want no, to... dating was a drag. It's all, you, you know. didn't like it? Well, I mean, the people who are available for dating are mostly younger. I know how Ant feels about those types. But, uh, well, you know, <clears throat> there's a limit, though, right? It's not I mean, necessarily a, a good thing. No, the young people, you know. There's a trade-off. Yeah. There's a definite trade-off. I was with this one girl, and uh, we were in New York together, and I was showing her uh, Washington Square Park or something, and I said, oh, I remember uh, when R Rodney King riots happened, uh, there was kind of some tension here, and she was like, the what? The hey, what? The who? No, the like where? The Rodney King. King. Yeah. Remember Rodney King? No. I hear I've that my dick no. swells up. I've learned to not make <laughs> references past a no, certain year. No. I like pick a year and just go, there was no history before this yeah. year. And, and I don't yeah, talk about But even about if you it, talk no. about it, like Kurt Cobain's suicide, that's old news. That's, yeah, that's pretty old well, now. Believe me, that's... That's pretty that's, fucking old. That's the old history. That's what I don't even talk about. How long ago was that? Well, everything. There's so much. years ago? 16 years ago? There's such a fast cycle now. I cut off at the ting tings. I remember when we were kids, <laughs> people used to talk about Fatty Arbuckle oh, when yeah, we were yeah. younger. Stooges. Yeah. And yeah, well, was Fatty yeah. Arbuckle fucked a girl with a broken with Coke a bottle. Coke bottle or some right? shit. Yeah. What? Or I pink, think it broke while he was with it. Or yeah, it was his, an axe. Yeah, his <laughs> intentions, <laughs> his yeah. intentions were good. Yeah. If you fuck your girl with a coke bottle and it breaks, <laughs> how angry are you? <laughs> you were using inappropriate force. <laughs> yeah. Your the torque was not. Yeah. 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 A few extra like, square pounds. But that was for fatty arbuckle. <laughs> Was in black and white that fucking guy. He's like yeah, from the twenties, yeah. and that sort of sustained until we were, you know. So that was like a fifty-year, you know. He yeah. was the one guy who did something wrong in yeah, all those yeah. years, that, and and that was a, a a relevant reference for quite a while. Yeah, uh, just watching I Love Lucy, mm -hmm. things like that, and enjoying watching that program. Yeah. You can't you, you can't just describe it or talk. If you put on a black and white television show. Yeah. You, know, you are just nobody wants to. Don't fucking do that. But now it's like uh, uh, Michael Jackson fucks kids. OJ killed his wife. Like every ten seconds, there's something. Yeah, those are even old now. Those are it's old, like who even cares old news? Yeah, about OJ. Let him out. Who cares? It's like ha think about it. How <clears throat> how long ago is the, was the OJ thing? 
94? 94. That's when his wife So we're looking fell. at 15, well, we're looking about fell 15 down. years. <laughs> yeah. And her fell head down. fell off. Yes, <laughs> when, times on when Clumsy off. fell on, on his knife 387 times, <laughs> and then fucking Ron Goldman tried to do a karate stance. Got his come up and <laughs> You're talking fucking 15, 16 years ago. Now, if you're with a girl that's 21, mm -hmm. that happened. Yeah. She was five. She was five years old. When that happened. I don't think she was sitting there with bated breath no. wondering what was going to happen to OJ. No. You know? Yeah. It was, just wasn't happening. So, yeah, there's, there's a certain point you just have to cut off. You have a young girl's history. Was... There's a trade off. Yeah, it was but just always this limit. Ass like a snare drum. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> bing, bing, <laughs> bing. Fucking wonderful. I like a girl nice and young. Like when you spank her, she doesn't know if you're turned on or if she's really been bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got Florentine now ready to join the program. We got a busy show today. Bring that faggot in. Want to take a break and, and then bring him in? What it's do you really want to do? Uh, yeah. I'm into breaks. Yeah, we we like breaks. I love breaks. Yeah. But the TV show's going well for Louie, and it, uh, did we yeah. tell the bless. people when it's going to hit? Bless. In June, it's coming on in June. I, I think June 28th, oh, one of those. This fucking Thursday nights. This is fucking show is, uh, this show is made for our audience, too. It, it's it, going to be good. It's based on your life as a stand-up comic, trying to like balance stand-up and... Uh, and kids and, and dating kids and, and all stuff. that. Yeah, and it's very... Uh, oh. FX is very liberal with the language. They can say They're almost great. anything. Yeah. I mean, we could say anything. Dude, there was like one or two things you couldn't say. I was like, really? I could say that, that I couldn't believe the you, language freedom. You, you had. can't say cunt, fuck, cocksucker. Right. Uh, you can say suck a cock, by the way, and stick this your cock church? in my ass and come saying? on my balls. Really? No. Yeah, I've asked a lot of things. You can say that. <laughs> you really asked a lot. Of come on my balls, but you can't say cocksucker because it's just one guy in the FX hierarchy who's like, no, I don't like it. I don't like hearing that word. So uh -oh. they took mm. it out. And you can't say retarded. <laughs> yeah, retarded is like it's the uh, one, new right? uh, N word. It's a tough one. Retarded. Yeah, retarded is useful. We're they we're they protest the, outside. Yeah, they don't know yeah, any better. We're losing the word <laughs> retarded now. We are losing yeah. retarded. We're losing retarded. That's terrible. It, it it's was retarded. I think it we was, need to fight for that one. It yeah. was around for so long. It was. Like, and it wasn't offensive. No. Like, no one cared. By the way, there's a lot of words for, that are appropriate for some folks that are not, like, invalid is okay to yeah. say. That, how, how much meaner can you get than that saying someone is invalid? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're valid. just not valid. <laughs> Your injury makes you not a valid human being. It kind of sounds French, though. That's why. That's invalid. why we invalid. That's is why we invalid. get away with it. It sounds like I don't know European or yeah. something. What's the guy's uh, invalid? What's the invalid. Guy's? You're just nothing. <laughs> You're fucking nothing. <laughs> what's He's the guy's not name? Even from worth mentioning. Scrubs and Platoon. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, Ben. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, Cunty nigger mouth. No, 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 no. That wasn't it. It's fucking um, um, the guy. Hey, Bob. Oh yeah, yeah I think I know you. Oh, mean, that guy. Yeah, yeah uh, the yeah. guy. John uh, uh, McGinley. Uh, I got a John bad C. feeling McGinley. about this one. Uh, go to John C. <laughs> McGinley. A does a uh, a retard public service a message about saying retarded? for not using the word retarded. You know and I swear I thought it was like going to be joke? a punchline at the end. And it turns out he has a child with Down syndrome. Wait, is it with him? But no, no, he, he, you know, oh, you mean, he like, I thought you meant like he's standing there with a, no, no he's, with a cute he Down has, syndrome. Like, he don't call one. this fucking thing retarded because it hates it. <laughs> you know, my God. <laughs> no, he, he actually is the father of oh, a child child's. with Down syndrome. Okay. And, Whoa. uh, sorry. Breaking wow, news. look at that. Oh, Corey, my goodness. Someone that we had on our show at K-Rock, Corey Haim, dead at the age of 38. Wow. One of the Corys is dead. He seemed a little fucked up. Yeah. When he was here, that's for sure. Well, uh, are they going with the OD on this one? Oh, this is extremely breaking. Oh, Come I, can't on, even, I can't even click that tomorrow. <clears throat> I fucking crying, tweeted girls. about this last night. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly an instance where any girl I am with would go, who? Exactly. Yeah, who gives like, a shit? who? I, like I that, never so. heard of him. I don't know who he is. Well... I don't know him. I don't know what he does. Yes. I tell him to overdose. I don't, yes, I don't know this Merle. I don't know what drugs he takes. <laughs> tell him you want him dead by morning. Yeah, I think that's probably a... Um, wow, we met him. 30 always, years old. I bet a lot of people have died. Exactly. Yeah, we got a lot of people died. A lot of people? Really? How many? How many did people do you know that died? A lot? A lot. What do you... Do you murder them? How do you know so many... No, uh, I know a lot There's, of. Uh, I know. I, I, I probably know about eight different suicides. Fucking a lot of mm. drug overdoses, AIDS. I know oh. a lot of fun ones. I I once uh, all these I, girls right after I fuck a them. woman blew me once. Who <laughs> there was a woman who blew me who later hung herself. 
Oh, wow. Like, and I told like, that to had, somebody. It was still your cum in her mouth. <laughs> exactly. It felt so degraded. She had, you know what She was brushing her hair in the mirror, and she saw a red pube on her cheek <laughs> and had to die. <laughs> <laughs> but I told that this, uh, this guy, I was a comedian I was working with, and he said that there was a couple, like we were starting to compare, he actually had a number of women who blew him who killed themselves. And Jesus. one of them had hung herself. Wow. Wow. It's funny. How, wow. You, you know, know any, you know. any sucking cock is Any girl you've bummer. ever been with? Who hung herself? Yeah, I do. Really? Absolutely. What? Both of you have a <laughs> sure. hung themselves yeah. story? Get yep. the fuck out of here. Did they just I high five? <laughs> no. Did you suck Boner's dick? Was that it? <laughs> no, it was a girl. What the fuck? Uh, one girl, I'm trying to think if I've ever fucked a girl who killed herself. No, I know one girl. I know like fucking three comedians who've killed themselves. Yeah, uh, me too. One, Drake two. Sather. I didn't know him. Yeah. Well, comedians are fucking... Yeah. Oh, another one. Comedian. Adam Leslie. Kooky. Oh, yeah. Who I knew casually. Seth Schultz. Who I knew casually yeah, I from Pips. Guys were. No, uh, no, no, matter, no wonder they killed themselves. Uh, <laughs> never heard of them. I've been doing comedy 25 years. never heard those names once. <laughs> Joe Del Duca. Good job, guys. And oh. uh, Nicole Pappas is four. Oh, yeah. She wow. was a winner. Never, yeah. never heard of Look at you. At least four. Uh, Dave Lovkin, five. Oh, what about, uh, what's his name from, um... Comedy doesn't family say, Feud. uh... Who? Guy that was hosting Family Feud. I didn't know Ray Combs, though. No Ray Combs? No, no, no. Comedy doesn't have a nice way to say, no, thank you. Yeah. There's no... Yeah. <laughs> there's no... <laughs> no, thank you. Because it takes, like, a good ten years to find out that you're probably not going to make it, and then you end up hanging, and those guys yeah. hang on for another... Oh, I tried another five. Now you're 15 years try. deep into something that didn't work out. Yeah, you're you not. can't. What are you gonna? It's like being in prison. What are you gonna do after that? Yeah. Mm. Did you, you know just, Richard Jenny? Oh fuck yeah, yeah Rich six. Jenny. Right, yeah. I forget Rich I six. Yeah, we don't like talking about Richard Jenny. No. <laughs> I liked him, man. I thought he was a fucking yeah. great comic. Yeah, yeah, he was a great comic. He had uh, one of the greatest. Ah, whatever. He did a Tonight Which, Show uh, uh, spot where he talked about Jaws three. Jaws three. For the whole th five minutes on really? Jaws three, and it's fucking hysterically funny. Really? Yeah. Whole, I mean, it's yeah. just dead. you can't breathe. Yeah. He was one of the <laughs> one of the greats. Find did, that. I want to hear it. He now. did a bit on fucking. I, I only worked with him one weekend many years ago in Charlie Goodnights. I opened for him and his opener, and he did a bit on Kevorkian, where he just was talking about how beautiful Kevorkian was because he wasn't afraid to say his name. He was. It was just a. Ooh. As you're watching this, like as a Ironic. young comic going, ugh. I'm never going to be able to yeah, do no, what he's he was doing. great. He was mm. great. It, back in those 80s uh, mock turtle houndstooth <laughs> jacket days, <laughs> he was the best. But he stayed. He Brick stayed wall, great. Very funny. Always topical. Yeah, he was great. <clears throat> All right, we'll take a break and get yeah, yeah, get you nice, in here. depressing yeah, talking that. about dead comics. Right now, yeah. Yeah. Corey right. Hamm yeah. and okay. I'm here. We, got the we audio. did exactly what we said earlier. Yeah. It's not the good thing to do. <laughs> we got the exactly. audio on uh, people trying to get rid of the, the R word. So we'll, mm -hmm. we'll do a little of that after the break and a couple other things. Okay. Uh, Florentine's going to talk about eating ass, right? Because you said he's the king. I, you know, I wouldn't say he's the king, but he loves his ass eating. Jim, All right, uh, Louis, we're, we're gonna, what about Louie? Uh, wait, wait, wait for like, after the break. I don't like I don't enjoy that, no. All right. I like doing it. Wait for after the break. Uh, I mean, no, because the big get. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and maybe Jesus get into this Christ. Eric uh, Massa stuff from Larry King, because Larry was uh, hilarious last yeah. night. All right. Um, hey, this is Corey Haim. You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Really fast. Props to everyone on Twitter this morning. We got um, Jesse Ventura Believes trending on Twitter. Ah, oh, got a bunch of animals. I believe Jimmy left crying. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That was a funny, funny Jimmy, sound. Clip. I mean, just Jimmy making a former governor. Makes sounds like boo hoo 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 we never knew how much that affected Jesse Wow, did that Ventura. bug him. It did. So we I saw a video of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But I thought, like, by now, he probably be blew over it. the second he got to the elevator. We were Let's... listening to clips from yesterday. He is still so pissed at that line. He wouldn't go he on our did, show, but he, he went on everyone personal. else's shows to discuss it. He took it out on... He went uh, personal. And, and that's when I drew the line. 
And if he would have said something to me like that when I was 21 and a Navy SEAL, I would have... Shut up. Yeah, the well, guy was a pro wrestler. That's yeah. all they did was freaking you know. say stupid stuff exactly. like that. And now You're all of a sudden right. he's yeah. got a problem with it. If never... he had said that to me when I was a wrestler, I would have... Uh... Planned with him ahead of time. <laughs> uh, I would have pretended to throw him on the floor gently, and he would have. I would have smashed him yeah, with a fake yeah. chair, and I would have stomped uh, on the ground looking. in the same moment, <laughs> so as to <laughs> make a loud noise. synthesize the punching him in the. I haven't actually Show heard him. a human being in <laughs> seven decades. Well, well that and our listeners are giving him a beating on Twitter. Keep it going. Jesse Ventura believes. Because I'm sure he's a hashtag. I'm sure he didn't say anything bad about the guy who's running against governor of Minnesota when he. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ago. he didn't say anything no. personal about I mean, him. I mean, why not say personal go. things? No, yeah, why not? Is, what line? Who put that line there? Exactly. It doesn't yeah. exist. You could say especially anything. in an argument. Exactly. Just, yeah, if you're in an argument with somebody, they say something and then you argue with it and they stick with their argument, then the next step is to call him a stupid douche fucking cunt <laughs> right. face. That's, That's the next works. thing you do. Exactly. Right. Does the government, government take it personal when he says 9-11 was an inside job? I think so. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's a little yeah, bit of a personal so. attack. Yeah, you're attacking the, the integrity of these men. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a very good Jim Florentine the who has joined the program. Of the, of people that yeah, die yeah. And, they don't even know, hear that shit. Fucking from pilot, this fucking the, retard. The pilots that were fucking killed. Uh. The family of that. Maybe they t take it personally when you say it didn't happen. Well, their government I, I just want to know how long it took them to wire to the whole World Trade Center, you know? Because oh, yeah, it had yeah. to take probably a couple. You used to be an electrician, right? If you, at least a few months to put a lot of dynamite Tim in Knocker, there. But same thing. Yeah, I know it. I know what it's like to look above the hung ceiling and see. You know, you can't just put fucking dynamite. <laughs> now I gotta go to the ship and get another match. <laughs> you need a <laughs> huge <laughs> amount of those Yosemite guys. Sam rigged it like right. fucking. Yeah. 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 Put, put his fingers in his ears and he hit yeah, behind yeah. a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. He's trying to light his bunk buddy. He's poking his head out the train and <laughs> blowing the match out. That's what happened, Jesse? Is that what happened? <laughs> it was still my pain. Let's not forget it. Would I have hit, hit Al-Qaeda in this stove? <laughs> <laughs> Would I throw a lighted match in his stove if Al Qaeda was in here? <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. Idiots. Fucking guy. Uh, Corey Haim is dead, 38 years old. He's and, dead. And they're now saying OD. Well, that would be yeah. everyone's first guess, I'm thinking, right? Uh, OD? OD. Yeah, if you had OD, you win. From seeing him uh, when he was in here, he really seemed um, jacked up. He seemed hopped up on the dope. Yeah, there's me. something going on, it seems. Yeah. yeah. I think he's, he, was, he was doing some uppers. Drugs yeah, are really well, fun. Drugs are really fun. Hey. We'll have to do an autopsy, Sam. <laughs> Kids are dying like this every day. Every day, Sam. It's a shame. Now I'll go to the school and give a speech on drug abuse. <laughs> Stupid Quincy. <laughs> Fucking just. Uh, why don't they pull that show off the air already? Just sit down. <laughs> you know what's even worse? I, I got it on Netflix. <laughs> Quincy? I had to watch. I had to. <laughs> you. Fucking rules. Because it's like he's a coroner. Yeah. Uh, who are m just yeah. morbid people that are in their fucking coroner's office all day making fucking Y incisions <laughs> yes. on dead people and yeah. looking at their guts to see what happened. You know, not in car chases, not no. exploding fucking yep. shit. And, and and chasing down the criminals like Quincy. Yep. Sam, get my tuxedo. Yes. I have to go to the White House inauguration. <laughs> Say somebody. Him and, a, and, a, and an Asian guy with an American name. <laughs> yes, with a palatably American name. Yes. <laughs> Mo, he should be putting a toe tag on, but instead he's like, Sam, quick, get me an outfit. I have to dress up like a man about town. I have to stop a crime. A <laughs> man about what town. I Even about... though I have intestinal polyps. <laughs> I think I remember the theme song. I don't know if they... If you have it anywhere, but bum, 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 bum. well, the thing about the theme song, yeah, see, it's the thing they're doing there. It's, it's like serious? this is a drama, but don't worry, hey. remember Jack Huckman's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! That is exactly what it is. <laughs> this, Very serious. Buddy was on the yeah, This is all serious. 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 Uh, serious. Crime. Serious. Crime. Quincy M E. And now. Oscar Don't Madison. worry, he's funny. <laughs> he's a funny guy. Yeah, that's why you're watching the show. But this is a drama. I'm trying to do drama. Yeah, but nobody wants a fucking drama from you. Yeah. You're Oscar. I'm waiting for the pull out old sandwich out of his tux. Yeah. <laughs> they even have him in the opening credits, like eating a like a, oh, a scotch egg or something, don't they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's eating. Uh, Don't he's worry, he's messy. He's okay. always involved with adventure and intrigue. Yeah. Most people in my job you never hear of, but my car went off a cliff. Sam. 
them. <laughs> yeah, no one knows the no, coroner. Exactly. Right? No. How would you know that? But it's guy? like, hey, Quincy, the yeah. d- d- detectives are there on on like uh, he's he's trotting through crime scenes, yeah. Yeah. just d- fucking ruining crime scenes. Detective Monahan, yeah. remember we used to play cards when I was speed. <laughs> <laughs> but can I take a look at the body? Yeah. It's like no, we haven't even fucking yeah. cordoned off the area. Yeah, exactly. It's not nearly your turn yet. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're last. You're la- you you report to the off. detective. You, you fucking hand off to the mortuary. <laughs> fucking <laughs> overstepping, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Leave it alone. Crazy. They're still fucking photographing the body. <sighs> no, dummy. every scene should have been like, I'd like to speak to you about the deceased. Uh, who are you? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm the uh, uh, medical uh, medical exam. Oh, I don't have to talk to you. Oh. Are you a cop? No, uh, I work at the morgue and like, <laughs> get the fuck out of my house. Stan, you could yeah. absolutely be fucking up our case no, here. No, a lot of his scenes start with somebody saying, I already told the police all of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yes, but I have a point of view. I examined the body. No. Ew, gross. Yes. Get out of my house. I'm not the police. I was the last one to finger your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> she was laying there cold and alone. <laughs> cold and alone. I opened her asshole and Put my fingers in. <laughs> we couldn't find a rape kit. Yeah. Sam laughed and filmed it. <laughs> I carried it back in my hand. <laughs> Sam swab under my fingernail. Yeah. I pulled her anus out like a champagne cork and examined it for Negro semen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Florentine has joined the show. What's up, Jay? What's going on, man? What are you promoting today? Because you're not going to get a chance because this show is moving way too fast. That's all right. So no, get the plug in right now. Just some gigs, you know? Yeah. I just joined Twitter. I didn't. I was holding out, but oh, Mr. Why, why Jim Florentine. I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't get it, but it, now I get it. It's Mr. Jim Florentine. Mr. Jim Florentine. Yeah, someone had my name. You then. would be a good one to follow. I'm going to fucking follow you, my. Why don't friend. you ask whoever it was to give your name back? They might have been holding it for you. No, they, it was some guy just posing. Now I got. They got him off Twitter, so maybe I could take the real name back. Yeah, see if you can get. They should have yeah, it. That'd be nice. I, I was following. Uh, Jim's tweets are very. Fun. I was following Louis C.K. for a while, and then someone had to tell me, uh, Louis hasn't checked his Twitter in a year. Yeah, like, I know. Oh, awkward. Why? would be a great Twitter. Awkward. <laughs> I was like kissing your ass and stuff on You're, Twitter. Oh, I yeah. never look at Twitter. I, I, I know. I got someone rid had of Facebook. Tell me. I got rid of Facebook, and I got rid of MySpace. I mean, those are hard to get rid of, too. Like, you have to really fucking work at it. Yeah, you gotta really. Because when you get rid of a Facebook account, they're like, it's still here, you just, and all you have to do is sign back in and it's back again. Yeah. But then, so we have all your pictures and correspondence with every person. We just have it sitting here. You have to really go through this Michigas to, uh, really? so in that sense, it's, it's, and you're it. still a member, but, but you're I'm just not, now I finally er- eradicated it's Facebook, done. Facebook and MySpace. I don't why? know either. Why? I hated it. It was making me unhappy. I just hated looking at it and all the fucking people and I just got <laughs> tired of it. I got, you know, when I was like, met some women through that stuff, and that was a bummer, and I just, and then I'd get, hey, <laughs> and I, yeah, I just hated it, and I also hated that I felt compelled to check it, and I had this data entry job all of a sudden of making <laughs> sure that everybody entry. knows what I'm up to. <laughs> it's an old That's data what it feels entry like. job. That's yeah, what it feels I like. I gotta update my fucking face. I gotta let them all know. I got a show coming up. Let's go through the fucking cycle. And uh, I just, I, I'd like to be proven on my next tour that it's a disaster because I don't have those fucking oh, things. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And it just feels goofy, and I hate this thing of, like, uh, the I, I hate that I hear, you know, uh, actors that I used to admire. It's like, you know, f- fucking Edward G. Robinson, if he was still alive, <laughs> this amazing guy, and he's like, man, just, man, just came out of... You know, Macy's yeah. and saw Jim Norton. <laughs> Ma, Man, see? I was at the Brown Derby, <laughs> see? Yeah, I saw Bing Crosby. <laughs> yeah. And then a little half clever fucking thing that means nothing. I just got tired. I use Twitter just to announce when I want to get Announce people. shit. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. doing this, please go, period. I complain I'm not going to be funny it. about it. I just complain on it. Now, I have mm. this show, so I have a great outlet to complain, which I do a lot of but then when i don't have the show you know when it's after you know 10 30 on the dot uh <laughs> it's, i i 10 that's all i have seconds like motherfucker yeah. you get to throw a few of, of a bitch this guy's an asshole day. or something yeah, yeah but yeah. facebook's like high school shit though you know like, yeah 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 i just i always try to fuck with people like that the relationship status so i'll put like married and people are like oh but you got married to <laughs> yeah. 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 So, like what? three seconds later i'm like what, what kind of fucking life do you have just because yeah. i put it down there makes 
asked me married. And then I put in a relationship with Don James, and they're like, you're gay? <laughs> what is it? I never knew that. Like, I'm like, do you really think that? I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Do you like to challenge people to pillow fights? Ugh. So-and-so has invited you to a turkey off. Oh, Someone just poked you. A turkey off. Exactly. Why are there no negative ones? Why is there not a, yeah. you know, so-and-so would like to kick your mother in the cunt? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, do you accept? Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Ask her. I mean, it's not my cunt. It's not my Head of Nussbaum has invited you to a hammer fight. <laughs> Why is there no... It's all silly, funny, nice ones. Yeah, exactly. Kind of a fucking... Well, let's start something. Exactly. Let's start some mean ones. Corey no. Haim has invited you to a sleepover. Because <laughs> he's dead. Shit. To a dead over. Won't see him no more. Oh, wow. Oops. Oh, Corey uh, won't see him no oops, more. Oops, he's gone. Well, we got the retard word. with the o overdose to fishes. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. No doubt. We're trying to get... Oh, it was all right. Come on, give me a... Nah, no, it wasn't nah, that bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he earned it. Yeah. <laughs> Let so, him get it. He said overdose. You didn't need to. You could have just said sleeps with the fishes. We knew he died. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to hybrid the two uh, things. Oh, yeah. it was clever. Uh, they're trying to get rid of the R word, uh, people. So let's get into this a little bit. Yes, the R word. We lost the N word. Re retard. We We're losing the R word. You think I we'll think you should combine them and have Al Sharpton. What? <laughs> I thought that was a good one. No. What does that even mean? This just didn't make any sense. Have Al Sharpton. Have Al Sharpton. What do you mean? Yeah, the N word and the R word. Angry low. Oh, because he's a, a retarded. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay. oh, but. You combine the way you word Did you just it? half say the he's a retarded sheriff is a near He says the sheriff is near. No, here's the problem with uh, <laughs> it, it's scary to use the word nigger because no in uh, any context, yeah. it, it, companies don't back you. Like if especially just groups talk no, if, if especially <laughs> groups <laughs> 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 company back Ku Klux No, but I mean even a human so, company would work. What can Nabisco do for you, Jim? Well I was hoping I want to say the word nigger and I was hoping to get some financing. <laughs> I wanted to wear a, a Nabisco hat. Have a Nabisco de decal on my car as I say nigger. Yeah, it's just like a NASCAR driver. <laughs> yeah. Just sponsors to say the word nigger. <laughs> Jim. I feel like I can't get sponsorship for this. Uh, so uh, crazy. Yeah. You can understand why they're not going to back you, though, right, Jimmy? I, no, I don't. I mean, like, if we got... With the, humor and stuff like the I'm in situation. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If, we, if we got shit for that... It's funnier Louis nigger, way, though. And the fucking... <laughs> It really Fuck yeah! <laughs> and they demanded the firing for use of the word. No company would ever go. Oh, it's just a comedian being well, funny on the air. Although, on the show. Well, no. Remember, I just didn't even say that. No, he said, fucking nappy. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. It's all. It's all context of the moment. You know, yeah. they don't care. They don't even care. No, yeah. Yeah. That's not I remember, like a, like a week before the Imus thing happened, Patrice and I had a conversation on this show oh, that yeah. was fucking incendiary. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> really? We said the word about eight times. Yeah. And just viciously with no apology. Yeah. And is the, I mean, uh, the thing that happened on Imus was like questionable, and the thing that happened on your show was n nothing. <laughs> but it was all context. It's when people are listening, they got the ears pierced. But no, nobody was listening. Media Matters made an issue out of Imus just mm. because they didn't like him. That's what I mean. People yeah. that, that are that do that for a living are listening uh, and looking for something. Yeah. Yeah. We did. We did a bit. Uh, once. No, we did it. That I'm not no, even gonna, I'm not even gonna mention no, it. No, we did it. I'm not even gonna mention we it. We skated, brother. We skated on oh, that one. Barely. It was so if the, offensive. If the ice was any thinner, we would have fell through. It, it was so it offensive. Was and finding it anywhere online or anything like that, nope. it's like the holy grail. Nope. We wow. never did that. It, it was pulled immediately just so it couldn't be used out of context. In context, it was hard, deplorable. How yeah. about uh, the fuck? I know which one you mean. Yeah, with with. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 that bad. I don't think it's a bad bit. Uh, it was. It was. I don't bad bit. It was fucking hysterical. How I did think you get that? I think you, no one could find it online. How did, could you pull that off? I, I, I think it's we, out there. We Anthony's pulled exaggerating. it immediately. Right. Yeah, but these, these these guys out there that have been taping every single show of ours for ten years. How about now? the homeless Charlie bit? Did we get a, an okay on that? They're still yeah, working the on that upstairs. What's there to work on? They're uh, exactly. What's there to work on? Lawyers. What else they gonna do? came in and was just spouting hysterical homeless crazy banter about um, public officials, their wives, and uh, uh, how he'd like to have sex with them. Right, the Queen of England, things like that. But oh it's, God, that was it was a crazy homeless guy. Yes, that yeah. made me so mad because yeah. also, first of all, just taking it out of everything. You guys, the bit was. I'll tell you what the bit was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
you guys had this homeless guy that you bring into the studio, you give him a cup of coffee, yeah. take care of him for the day, and just hear him out. Everybody gets a, all these, the same 12 people get to talk about it. I mean, there's right. Glenn Beck and Howard and fucking uh, 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 Rush. O'Reilly. And, and O'Reilly, and then on the other side, Keith Oberman. There's yeah. like 12 people that are, are the only ones anyone gets to, has to fucking listen to. And then occasionally some asshole actor fucking pipes <laughs> in about their I ideas. But you guys took an, a person who's as out of the loop as anyone has could possibly no voice. be. No fucking yep. voice. And you just heard him out. And you let and you gave the you gave freedom to the conversation. Yeah, let's see what this nut is thinking. Yeah, and just let and and just let him explore these ideas from yeah. his point of view. And by the way, he was funny. He was funny. 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 He was weirdly current. Fucking prior. You know. And he didn't. He <laughs> said he wanted to fuck. He had a passion to fuck these women. And yeah. because these liberals come from fucking white fam, rich mm -hmm. families, they just were racistly uncomfortable yeah, yeah. with the idea of him having sex. Now, Anthony, you described it a little rape than he did, so you notched uh, it up just yeah, a little. a little bit. And it wasn't even, you weren't saying a rape. rapier. <laughs> you, were, you were saying he's whole, he's uh, hovering over her, snorting. I, I, I was and, saying I could picture. Yeah, exactly. See, from him talking about it, I then wanted to conjure up the image of what Which it would have looked like for poetic. him to have been doing that. And it, it would have been horrific, the script, just the... The the look of horror on the women's faces, which was the again a very to me I'm sticking with like that this was about democracy <laughs> yeah that that, that, that that was a democratic <laughs> notion to say and you're not even wrong. <laughs> Why is he pissing? Why? Is Jim is what pissing in my oatmeal. Is Jim is literally pissing what? into my oatmeal. I was half done. He just pissed wrong? into it. I thought he was just. I thought he was just gonna stick his dick. In it. That's what I thought too. Oh my god, it's pretty funny. All right, I'll still eat it. Hover it around it. Yeah, if his dick was near it, I would still eat it. Right, but no, he was just pissing in my oatmeal. Look, Jimmy just pulled his dick out and, and pissed into when? my oatmeal. Louis By the way, how do you have that kind of control that you can just turn it on piss and like an ounce? It. <laughs> it's fuck? like your piss is a syringe <laughs> with the fucking those little black gradated lines on it. Louis making some great. How many CCs was that? What the fuck? Holy shit! Louis making some good points. Oh here. my god! <laughs> That's what he thinks of what you have to say. No, no, it just had to be done. The old man was mocking me, daring me to urinate on it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> like a fucking uh, cat. Uh, you oh. know, just have to piss. That's uh, mine now. A couple things on the homeless Charlie oh. thing. We never oh saw God. the guy again. Yeah. So I don't know if, if the oh. government took him out. Oh, no. And uh, uh, XM wanted us fired for that bit, but we had a few. No, Hugh Panera did. Well, he, he, he was XM. Yeah, he, he was, was the, the main thing. guy at XM, and we were able to, we were able to, you know, avoid a firing, Guilty thank God. But we didn't avoid a 30 day fucking, suspension. Why can't a homeless guy fantasize yeah. about fucking some high status fucking exactly. loser? Cunts. Who gives a shit yeah, who what he says about the president's wife? That's the kind of society we're supposed to live in. Right. The, and, the and, and people, I Secretary read some of the. Of State and the Queen of England. Some <laughs> fucking cunt whore on Huffington Post. Of, co of course. Wrote Huffington. this thing where she said, here was a, a here was a black man uh, fantasizing about raping three powerful white women. Mm -hmm. One of them was black, Condoleezza by the way. Lisa Rice, yeah. Was black. Well, yeah. And he didn't talk about raping the queen. No. He didn't even mention having sex with the queen. He did a funny joke about it where he said, you lost, bitch, like because <laughs> she lost the revolution. <laughs> you lost, bitch, go home. It was a great, nobody ever really was. makes a joke like that about the queen of England. We won that war, you fucking <laughs> Go home, you horse face. It was hilarious. What happened was, this was when the merger was, was uh, being talked about, XM Series. It was merger. The merger. 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 So, so, Sam, I think this was a merger. <laughs> this is a merge. <laughs> this is no accident. It was a merge. <laughs> there was a murder. <laughs> People in regular radio murder. didn't want the merger to happen. So what happened was when they somebody probably from the uh, the uh, NAB. I'm, I'm guessing fed this to Drudge or Breitbart, and they put it up. This was about people. And then a blogger said, "Will this hurt the merger?" And the fucking yeah, yeah, dummies at XM uh -oh. listened. Some uh -oh. blogger. My hurt. Uh -oh. oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't Hugh Panera. It was Nate Davis who wanted oh, to fire. Who was Nate. The, the black uh -oh. head of. Uh, I think I heard Hugh. I, heard I talked Hugh. to. Uh, trust me, I had to hear it from Hugh. 
Trust but, me. but the fact that XM he was just right go, there with Nate, uh, he was ready to fucking pull the fucking. It's a tasteless on joke done by a homeless guy. Yeah, uh, Eric Logan yes. saved our jobs. That was that was a fucking absolute disgrace. Yeah. Is it, it that you guys got suspended for that? Thirty, 30 days. days from satellite, and we could still do broadcast right, radio still during broadcast, that time, right, but not that, which was <laughs> just so weird. Fucking uh, race in this country. How do you get suspended from satellite radio? Hey, yeah, we were, the, we were the first. <laughs> That's we were the Isn't first. Isn't that unbelievable? For content. We were the and, first people and, suspended from satellite radio this, for content. And to this day, we're trying to replay the bit on our show. We can't get it done because the lawyers are still discussing it. There's upstairs. nothing to Just discuss. Just give us the fucking bit. It yeah, already what is aired. to discuss? It's what already out really there. Discuss. What is that Bush bitch? He was a funny dude, he man. Was fucking he funny. was funny. I would love to have him back on the show. his raw point of view. Like, who fucking says that these, you know, Glenn Beck says something that offends me every 10 seconds. <laughs> Why don't I get to take him off the fucking air? Yeah, that's right. What you know, he, he talks about shooting people in the head. He's a, you know, calls people Nazis and communists. He has a really extreme point of view. Yes. Gives, I don't give a shit. I just don't listen to him, and I go ahead and be offended. I don't know why people think that they can have to get him. To I didn't fire like to... hearing that. Well, that's a shame. I hope you feel better now. And, and to have a glass of water. And that's <laughs> your fucking problem. That was offensive to me. Too bad. Like, when you find yourself having to defend something like, well, I didn't mean it offensively. No, I meant it offensively because that makes me laugh yeah. to offend you. Yep. yep. So you get offended, and that's your problem. Yeah, it's a tough world. It's cold outside in the winter, too. <laughs> Why do you think you can control exactly. shit? Yeah, it's because people, people are told by can, advertising yeah. that they have a right to the world exactly the way they want it. So when something happens that pisses them off, they're like, "I'm gonna. That's not. I'm gonna do something about that. I have a say. I can make a difference. Well, in what? I think. I think TV and radio should be a, a fucking crazy wasteland. I really do. I think it yeah, should be yeah. like you got to if you want to watch fucking Mad About You or whatever it is. You know, that's how old I am. Don't bring that up in front know, of the young girls. David girl. Spade. <laughs> yeah, David. Whatever that is. You want to watch my mother the car? The, the, yes. <laughs> my favorite Spin Martian. City. <laughs> Spin City. Whatever those shows. The, I don't you fucking even know one now. Texaco Theater. The bored to death or. Death. My three Till sons. Death. Yeah, yeah. Till death. That's on, go. right? All right. Okay. Uh, if you two wanna... and a half men. Two and a half men. Okay. Let's say there you want to watch that. Right before it is like fucking dick and ass porn. <laughs> <laughs> and right after it, you really got a time. Yeah, yeah. You change the channel. <laughs> you gotta two really and a half be... men's gonna have a good lead in. <laughs> <laughs> really good lead in. And right. then after it is like fucking people being beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> Just beheadings with funny noises over it. <laughs> yeah. Smorgasbord. Yeah. With somebody just screaming <laughs> retarded over and over again, which, by the way, would also be a good lead in for any show. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a parent, you just gotta go. I gotta be really, my God, I got, you know, I now can't I leave my. Oh yeah. well, I can't just leave my kid in front of the TV and put the remote in his hand. Yeah. I have to actually, Parents. like, fucking, yeah. I have to spend the entire day <laughs> not working because I'm constantly <laughs> yeah, changing the channels. Exactly. <laughs> oh my like, God. Why do people get protected that way? I don't get it. I don't. People yeah. don't have an inherent right. They to they have shit fucking is. quaffed and perfect perfected. People for them. think they have a right to not be offended. Yeah. Which is, it's you not don't. a right. You don't. You, you I do have not. the right to offend. Because That's my right, do. is to fucking be offensive, to say things that you find offensive. You don't have a right to not be offended. No. Sorry, it's just the way it works. No. There are consequences to what people say, but I have a right to fucking And say also, it. offending people is a necessary and healthy act. Offending yep. people is, it, is advancing the human brain to a, another place. Every time you say something that's offensive to another person, you just developed their fucking brain and you <laughs> caused a uh, conversation. All those You're things helping. are positive. That's and I don't mind people like complain, you know, going on their shit cable channel and saying, <laughs> I hate this, about it, right. putting your picture there and going, this guy shouldn't have said, that's great, that's all healthy. But don't fucking, you We're know, trying to get people fired, take them off the air. The sponsors, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or uh, having any fucking government thing that, 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 that yeah, controls what people say. I just don't like when you get a group together and they protest uh, and boycott, threaten a boycott of uh, uh, companies that sponsor this. That because that to me is mob tactics. That's like trying to influence your income 
or the company's income to get you fired, which in essence is censoring you. Yep. You're indirectly sure censoring you what I say. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, once removed, I'm being censored. And they're hiding on the, the technicality that, well, technically, a company, you're not being put in jail, so it doesn't affect your freedom of speech because a company has a right to say what they want to pay you for. Yeah. But you are affecting somebody's, if they're paid to say what they want, mm -hmm. you are affecting their, their ability to speak freely because you're threatening their livelihood. Yeah. And all, I mean, yeah. for me, I go back to before they started doing that because when they do that, fine, that's even their freedom of speech. If they want to be a nuisance, mm. if they want to make life hard for somebody, that's their freedom to do that. But they in, shouldn't man. have, they shouldn't have thought that their being offended was important to begin with. <laughs> You're right. It shouldn't have, <laughs> oh, that really offended me. Now I'm going to do something else. You don't get to go, I'm going to, you know, it's just such a stupid impetus. It's You're, just, a, the, you know, you it's just narcissistic. Most offended by things are the ones that do have the problem with what they're saying they're offended by. Yeah, always. It's it's always the case. Because I, I really don't have huge problems with things that people say, their ideology or what they no. say. I, I, I can be very vocal about certain things, but, yeah. you know, when I'm driving home, I could really give a shit. No. I don't, people, just get out of my way if I'm in the left lane. That's people who get fiery, fiery offended by yeah, anything yeah. are... They are a closet that thing. Right. They have a, they have such an issue trying to keep from doing that yep. or or saying like it. Like the or state whatever. senator in California, uh, exactly. Who hates? He's just anti-gay, anti-gay. He's gay. It's wants, a wants, <laughs> wants, a dick, wants a dick so bad. No, like the when those. Remember Calvin Klein had those ads for a yep. while that looked like some somebody trapped a teenage runaway in yeah. a paneled basement. Yeah, and said, "Open your legs," and took a picture and put it up there. They were like, these were very young, skinny. kids kids yeah uh wearing underwear and and jean shorts and stuff and some priest went after it like crazy like you can't have that up there and there's no way he's not a, it doesn't have a huge boner in his he pants fucking couldn't look yeah. at it if he had he no attraction to those out. kids he would have just walked yeah. by oh look at that look at those children having even a, think twice having about it. no but he's like i have fun. senator i have jacked off to this 50 times <laughs> I raped a little girl after I saw that, so please take yes, it down. Take it down. I can't control myself. That's a it. little girl. Look at you being PC. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> well, it leads to the retard discussion that we have in front of us here. Ah, so. Let's oh, take a look at this clip. Ventura? <laughs> it's become known as the R word, retard or retarded. It can be discriminatory and cruel. Today, young people across the country joined a campaign to stop the disparaging use of the word. Spread the word people? to end the word. That's what they want. Spread it's a the movement aimed at mutual respect and human dignity. And people who know the hurt of the R word led the charge to get rid of it. The, the R word. The hurts about of the R word. Here. Sophomore English class at Conifer High School. The assignment, write a personal narrative on a topic important to you. Reggie wrote his paper on the R word. Haircuts that Reggie look like Dickoff has autism. <laughs> the R word is <laughs> retard or retarded. I feel it just demeans people with learning disabilities. You gotta feel it. Can you so pause this for a second? <laughs> Did fucking Dumbello write his dissertation in crayon? Dumbello. <laughs> <laughs> the R word is unpleasant because I don't know, you're he's Italian. Fair enough. Dumbello. He first of all, I doubt that he was offended by the word. I think somebody may have told him that this was going on, that he would be a part of it, and to stop chasing the pinwheel and yeah. look like this is important to you. He, he doesn't understand what he's saying. Yeah. He said, I don't like the R word, sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Just demeans people with learning disabilities. So today, Reggie joined a movement to spread the word to end the word. Have people ever called you retarded, retard? No. No. Really? But I do hear people calling other people that word. It's you. <laughs> and I never feel good. Good when they say that. You could have just yeah, stopped right trying, there. And yes, you because good they're, hurting that person's, <laughs> they're hurting that person's feelings. So it made you sad. <laughs> What yeah. does that mean that you have a say in what they fucking say? What they say. That's the thing is, like, nobody, I mean, I think probably one person in the last 12 years 
pointed a retarded kid and said, "You fucking retard." Yeah, hey, you I, retard. I'm going to go ahead on on the line I and would say, absolutely yeah, that, that pretty much it's almost never happened. But I will look at Jim Norton after he say, says certain things and go, "You're retarded." No. It's like I was on stage <laughs> once and I was talking about, I was telling a story about a, a, a pony that bit my daughter, and. Uh, my daughter was bitten by a pony, and I was so mad at this pony, and I said, you fucking cunt pony. <laughs> and some woman in the audience was like, and I'm like, what's your problem? And she, she's offended that I use the word cunt. Here's the thing that drives me crazy. A pony, a male pony, I guess, who cares, bit my daughter, and I called that pony a cunt, and she's trying to get in the middle of that like it's fucking. like she's like i'm offended you just called me a cunt no i didn't i don't even know you you fucking cunt <laughs> you stupid retarded cunt <laughs> now that you're in my sights yeah. you're a cunt but this has got nothing to do with you you don't own that word you just yeah, don't yeah. own it i'm angry at a pony i called it a cunt did she really go I think I might be making it up. Fucking I got oh, a okay. face from a woman. Uh, I could see her looking at me, and I, I was like, it was all went on in my head, Anthony. I know what you're Belt her in the me. mouth. I don't, understand, very nice I don't understand people that get offended in comedy clubs. Yeah, yeah that's you should know what thing. you're getting into when yeah, you walk into these places. Anything yeah. might happen in there. Who the yeah, fuck man. knows? I um, just did a, uh, a casino in Tampa at the Hard Rock. My third joke in, I had four people walk out. I was just joking the set. It was it was all the people. There was some older people at the casino, you know, some high rollers yeah. and stuff. That was just doing some Tiger Wood stuff. Third joke in, they walked. Oh, fuck you. It was beautiful. I was like, Good this is fucking lead. great. I'm Good. like, if you guys are already leaving on a third joke, let's just fucking end this right now. <laughs> Thank you. Good I go, night. I'm just starting off nice right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to get a lot worse. This is the good, yeah. Yeah. nice, pleasant stuff. <laughs> And they had to take that long walk. They're right in the front. They go all the way in the back. <laughs> it takes forever. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was great. Right. I hope it was so uncomfortable. <laughs> Sit down at blackjack and lose your fucking ass. Did they have walkers? Bastards. They weren't at all, but that would be. Uh, well, they're not offended being be in the terrific. casino where where people are gambling yeah, no with kidding. their kids' tuition money. That doesn't no, and bother also, you. And there's people. There's shit in the in on television that just has an open. They just have an open fucking antenna. For 24 hours a day of viciously offensive programming that's just offensive in a way that people, it's not popular to say. Right. I, I, all the shit that goes on in, on CNN and uh, ev almost every fucking channel has somebody just being disgusting and, you it, know, exploit of Nancy Grace, fucking this ghoul who just it went fucking from, yeah. dredges up people's personal lives that were murdered and, and, and makes and murdered. turns it into some myth. <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> <what's laughs> Today, Sam, that was murder. <laughs> I know botulism. I've poisoned quite a few people. <laughs> It's unbelievable. This is a girl. On that show, girl. This is not a fucking Jack Klugman's dead. There's not even like a, a, a best boy on that show who's still alive. <laughs> he's not even dead. We're just dragging it through. He's not dead. No, he's not. He's, he's hanging in there. No, he's well. alive. His voice hey, is a little sorry, fucked Jack. up. From yeah, yeah, it's like this. He was made. <laughs> His voice was made. <laughs> There's a red-headed but... man. <laughs> <laughs> he has tinkle in his oatmeal, Sam, <laughs> and he's going to eat it. I can't believe we moved on from the oatmeal thing so fast. Uh, yeah, that was, know, that was nothing. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that was no piss in my own meal. That, was, that but happens, I, and then you you like you know a couple hours later, like did he really yeah, yeah, do yeah. that? Did he do that? Yeah. Did he? He took uh, a stick out and pissed in my oatmeal. Amazing. Here's part two of the R-word thing. Reggie's classmates urged others to stop using the R-word in a derogatory manner, and they offered a chance to take the R-word pledge. It may not affect me specifically, but it affects my friends like Reggie, Does it? and I feel Does it? that if I can stop it, I should. Yeah. Today well, marks can't. the second annual Day of Awareness, an ongoing effort by Special Olympics and Best Buddies International. College campuses, including Regis University, joined the campaign. For Reggie, it's progress. I just hope that less people use the R word. Makes for a better life for you and other people chips, with disabilities, like doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. The national goal today uh, was to get 100,000 people to pledge their support and to get people to remember that R is for respect. How ironic ah, is it that yes. the guy says that the like, only word that begins with R? How about is Ray Shore? Retard? <laughs> how about Rump? How about what his mother drank and all? Rum. <laughs> 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 and the type of abortion she should have had retroactive. <laughs> How ironic is it that the guy sounds like Stephen Hawking? <laughs> yeah, he does. And the people hey, you're man. retarded. Hey, he's nervous because he's talking on TV, which yeah. he shouldn't be. Poor little guy. He's being forced into this thing. 
You know who makes me sick too is Sarah Palin when she talks about the joys and the challenges oh, yeah, of having a, yeah. of, of having a Down syndrome child. Her baby is under one year old. It doesn't matter yet that it's retarded. That's true. It all, doesn't. All it hasn't are, started right, to become right. an issue yet. At that age, they it's all what like matters the is when the kid acts the way it does now when it's 15 years old. Then it becomes a joy <laughs> and a challenge. <laughs> but when she was standing on that stage at the fucking convention holding a baby that just came out of her fucking disgusting cunt, <laughs> her fucking retard making cunt, and she oh, held it up. I hate her more than anybody. And she held it up and said, This is really hard raising this. Really? It's a baby. But to stick your tit in its mouth. <laughs> you really don't like what her, is, huh? No, Hello? Wow. no. Lou's not a fan. It's not going to start. Failing. It's not going to start failing that's, IQ that's, tests that's yet. Shit. That's Louis C.K. It's just C. a K. fucking we, baby. You know. We don't know Louis C.K. He, he just, just came in to promote like a gig. Just like get pulled like a homeless audio. Yeah, right? no kidding. <laughs> hey, Louis, right, right though. As sorry. far as uh, baby is a baby, hey, you, know, you don't notice an it's intelligence. It's not a thing yet. It's it's as a baby, you don't. It's like oh, this six month old is acting like a like a this three month old is acting like a two month old. It's got developmental problems. <laughs> By now, it should have been going, not just, <laughs> this is a real joy and a challenge. <laughs> Uh, but I'm sticking by her. That's how brave I am. <laughs> Boy, I'm a committed mother because I'm feeding a fucking baby that looks like every baby on the planet. <laughs> she has no idea. She has no idea what it's like yet. Yeah, she's like in the honeymoon phase right yeah. now. <laughs> yes, the like, honeymoon phase of baby. Heaven. Yes. <laughs> but no, wow. when that kid turns fucking twelve and it's still not tying his shoes, she's gonna be able to, enough with this. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a challenge. this is now a challenge and not a joy, frankly. <laughs> wow. 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 I cannot stand. Uh, and the use of the first letter of a word now that oh, everybody oh, wants no, to just no. it's throw in there. Now it's the R word. Well, the, the, but that, that becomes the word. The C now. word was That's the who word. knew? Like the C word was the first one. Really, it was yeah, like you couldn't say. I remember my fucking ex-wife, who, by the way, I would use that word all the time with, <laughs> uh, would go ballistic mm -hmm. if if, they, if we were having an argument, which was a lot mm -hmm. uh, during my fantastic marriage uh all i would have to do if she was like walking up the stairs is go you fucking cunt <laughs> what <laughs> what like she would hear she fucking bionic hearing at that mm -hmm. point she'd hear the word and no matter what we were discussing no matter what the argument was about it stopped instantly and it was just about me calling her yep, a cunt. Yep. And, and you know how I hate that word. Don't ever yeah, use that word. That's why I used it. I'm mad at you. Yeah, exactly. What am I going to call you, dear? What are going to do? You made me mad. We didn't drop fucking Ugh. firecrackers on Hiroshima. God you damn, get your sweetheart. best weapon, Absolutely. your biggest weapon, and you fucking drop the bomb. It's like you a know. daisy cutter. So, yeah, that's yeah. it. Exactly. exactly. That's why they call it the sea bomb. <laughs> it's a fucking bomb. Yep. It's meant to end things. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, oh, the C word, the C word. Mm. Call it the C word. The N word, the R word, the F word, which is now faggot. It's not fuck. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. What is the F word? Uh, faggot? Faggot, yeah. C word. Is that it? It's, it's nigger, cunt, faggot, and retard. Those are oh the words right God. now that we're saying that you can't say. So, right so basically, now, whenever I need my girlfriend, I have to yell, hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, miss. Well, you know, the midget word will be there soon, and then yeah. Oriental is another I one. That's I think I actually be, heard the M there. word. I think I heard the M word for midget already. Yeah, good luck. They with don't want to fucking. Yeah, yeah, we'll good, good, it's a lowercase M. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow! You think wow! We'll, you think we'll lose? Uh, you think we'll lose faggot? Oh yeah, uh, yeah we do. without a doubt. Growing up, we all used it, and we weren't thinking gay. Well, we were just saying, look, no, stop being gay. a faggot. If we want to say gay, we would say, also say that's gay, never meaning homosexual. Yeah, it's like, dude, you you really don't didn't use gay. it, right? That's it's Gay, all this that stuff happens. Gay. Your bicycle's so gay. This like, stuff oh, really, happens in uh, cycles. Yeah. And it just depends on what time in history or who gets mad or what gets interesting to the media. I saw this documentary about, it was a whole documentary about uh, Huck Finn mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, <clears throat> Nigger Jim, the character right, in the book. Yeah, yeah. That every few years, 
um, they try to ban somebody tries throws Huck Finn out of a library. Oh yeah, yeah. Or yeah, they try to put it's... out an edition that doesn't yeah. have Nigger Jim in it. Right. And uh, it was really interesting. It showed how far back, it goes right back to when the book was first written, and in every country eventually starts taking out the Nigger Jim. Wow. Or there's a few, you know, then they'll have but a it protest. Written, it just comes so and goes. How's that going to change and anything? They That's the way it was written. Great piece of video though, where Ronald Reagan is giving some sort of, you know, commemorating when he was president, something mm -hmm. that had to do with. Uh, Huck Finn uh, or Mark Twain like you know he's opening a Mark Twain center or something yeah and he says uh, who who can forget the the wonderful adventures of Huck Finn and he looks off camera for a second oh, he goes, oh. and his friend uh, uh, Jim yeah. and you Jim. could tell that he was because he's an <laughs> old guy who's about to say, say that, that they were yeah. like don't Mr. President, you Don't. mustn't say nigger Jim. No. You just got to say Jim. And he looked yeah. off at an aide like <laughs> his friend. Um, oh yeah, Jim. That's, right. that's, that's how close well, he was. Mind. That's how close we were to having video forever <laughs> running. Oh, and his God. friend nigger Jim. Nigger Jim. <laughs> but Reagan was <laughs> Reagan was so old he really fucked up. He goes and his friend no. Jim the nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Jim who was a nigger yes. and who consorted with them <laughs> oh, and laid down with them. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> and his friend Jim, uh, um, who yes. I think was a nigger. Yes. Mm. Look, I made a career to be, uh, make oh, fun of shit. retards, so I'm on. Yeah, yeah you, you did. did. Absolutely. Right. So I how do you feel about this? Firehouse yes. in Pennsylvania to headline an improv so I make fun of retards? So <laughs> I'm all for that word. <laughs> so you're getting a little nervous over there. Not at all. Oh, oh, we can't already, lose the R word. No. He's already in. You already banked that money. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, I already paid off of a couple of mortgages. All right, fuck. Let's, let's just fucked, man. Let's break here. Louis C.K. is going to be at Caroline's 212-757-4100. Not many shows left. So. No. If you want to see Louie, get on the phone immediately. Can I get another oatmeal from somebody? It's right there. <laughs> yeah, we got you one. one. I, 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 had, I had Kenny get you one immediately. It's on the right side. Kenny shit in that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, ver it's far away from Jimmy's penis. Yeah. And, uh, Is anything really far away from no, Jimmy's really. penis? And Florentine, what are we promoting? What are we uh, got? This Friday at Mexicali Live in Teaneck, New Jersey with Don Jameson. And then uh, t uh, Saturday at the Mohican Sun. In uh, Connecticut. Very cool. Brett Michaels is going to be on the show in about, uh, I don't know, hopefully a half hour or so. So Good. we got lots to do today, man. Wow. Like literally she could pack this is amazing. we got to get some of this on the radio, guys. Obama. we got Louis C.K. in studio playing Caroline. 212-757-4100. Not many shows left. They're selling out. Uh, we got Tim Florentine. Who's promoting? I I already forgot what you're promoting, Jim. Mr. Jim Florentine on Twitter. That would be good because if you if you start following him on Twitter, then you'll know where he's uh, appearing. Yeah, and, I'm uh, doing uh, this Friday, Mexico Live in Teaneck, New Jersey, with Don Jameson, and uh, Saturday, Mohican Sun, Connecticut, and every Wednesday, March, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Jesus. And then we're doing um uh, Kenny's benefit thing, me and Jim Norton. That, that's and fake Otto benefit. Too. And I don't know, March benefit? 24th, Stress Factory, New no, Jersey. It's a, it's a great comedy show, but it's a fake benefit. All the money goes oh, to his son's Kenny. high school. Why is it, <laughs> why is it fake? <laughs> I don't Because I think Kenny's trying to raise money so they could get their limos or something. He lives in a good school district. They, they need limos for the proms. Oh, yeah, all right. You didn't make fun of Louie when he's doing a benefit for his school. It's That's a worthy true. cause. Is, well, they have yeah. no books. Fucking limos. <laughs> 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 what is it for? Where's trying to buy money books? go, Kenny? Project graduation to pay for their prom. <laughs> it does. So they're paying for their limos. All right. <laughs> oh, condoms involved? You know how little I'm fucking my, my kid goes to a public school <laughs> yeah. in New York? One time I, I was walking her home from school and she said, oh, we, we found a poop in the classroom today. <laughs> and I was like, what? And she says, there was a poop. We found a poop. In Foreign the exchange student? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what do you mean you found a poop? Like somebody was digging through... Like a like a rat poop or something? She goes, no, like a person, like a oh, Jesus. big poop. Like, how did you, you? Where did you find it? She's in the middle of the floor. Like an adult poop? Someone yeah, just she said that we shit. went to lunch and then we came back from lunch and there was a poop in the floor. And I said, that's crazy. And she said, it's oh, it happened a few times last year too. It happens. This is a janitor. You lean down and go, hey, yeah. I don't give a shit. So I found piss in my oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, must have been a retard. No, in the class. I said to her, <laughs> she asked me, how did the poop get? How do you think it got there? And I'm like, somebody went in your classroom while you were <laughs> and at lunch and pooped in the corner. Probably an angry and janitor. Goes, or something. And she goes, no, that's crazy. Nobody would do that. Well, then how to get? And there? I said, so how do you? How else would she goes? I don't know. You tell me. How did it get there? And I'm like, somebody sneaked in there and pooped there's no other explanation she goes no no daddy nobody would ever do that wow she I'm was like, not fucking she buying can't, that she can't fathom that and yet she there what other explanation it was an accident that somebody 
you know, thought that that's where poop goes, or you know, maybe someone they made a delivery UPS delivered the wrong. Maybe thing. the poop was made somewhere else and dragged to that sure. location yeah. with a fish, you know, fish hose bowl net. Well, the poop was made somewhere else. That's right, <laughs> Sam. That poop was not organic to that floor. There was little flecks of botulism. It was drilled and brought here. <laughs> it came out of a can of potted meat. <laughs> I, I want to get back to Kenny's benefit. I, I don't want to yes. confuse people. I want people to go to the Stress Factory because it's a great comedy show, mm -hmm. but I don't want to acknowledge that it's an actual benefit for, for down, and, down and out students. Who need a limo a, to get their prize? Yeah, it's a fundraiser. It's 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 a There's great a difference comedy between show. A fundraiser. Well, I don't want any of his money to go to condoms. I want them to all wear no bags that night. <laughs> That's right. That's fair <laughs> enough. They they don't do sex. They're too young. Yeah, really. You yeah. don't think your son's having sex right now? He doesn't want to think about it. <laughs> he just on. doesn't he want. Can to think he doesn't. The, how old is he? He's no. on seventeen, right? He, believe 16? me, I'm very happy. He brings girls home. Yeah, you got the makeout room yeah. down. You got yeah. the makeout then yes, downstairs, I, right? I, I, I refinished the basement specially yeah, I, I for my boys room. and dedicated yeah. it as the makeout room. Yeah. Mm. It's got the nice old couch and so is anything else room. allowed to go on down there besides making out? No, they can do whatever they want. I got the whole setup, I got the bathroom down there for you the got after people. Yeah, 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 believe me. I leave the door open a crack. <laughs> and I can also hear through the air vents. Nice. You have some plastic. Well, you play the people under the stairs. Really? <laughs> you have some, like, uh, garbage bags and, you know, bleach for when shit goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and and some lime. Because Kenny wants to clean up a crime scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Okay. I always play Son, aluminum. you just, just go upstairs and take a shower. Yeah. I got this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New rugs to lay down. Shit. Where's her wallet? Let's yeah. get started. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, get the I've been waiting saw. for this day. Get the bowling bag. We have to chop her up. Oh, <laughs> Just God. no emotion. Just, yeah. She has to be dismembered. So it's March 24th at the Stress Factory. It's back. a great lineup. Me, Florentine, yeah. Don Jameson, Otto, and George, yeah. and hopefully more people. Yeah, Louie, you're more than welcome Does to say on the bill, hopefully more people. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> more. Other community, we have to see a You guys passed over the I fact. I won't work at the Stress Factory. You guys passed over the fact that he listens through the vent. You're yeah, listening to your kid have like sex that. right through the vent. I'm just oh, making sure, sure to be responsible. They listen to you doing what? My microwave is fucking. I'm in and out. So so wait. So do you hear him having sex now through the vent? What have you heard? Have you heard it before? Yes. Yeah, on occasion, no will put on a good Can show. Can your son last? Oh. Can he last long? <laughs> Longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Eddie. Oh. House of horror. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. Just a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> Does your wife get mad as you have your ear to the vent? No, she gets mad that they last longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember bringing a girl home in high school, and she spent the night. Really? And uh, the next morning, I came. Odd. I came out. It was a Saturday or something. I came out. My mother's. You had the cool there, pants. and I'm, I'm acting weird. And my mom goes, "Do you have a girl in there?" Wow. And I go, "Yeah." And she goes, "Did she spend the night here?" And I go, "Yeah." And she goes. All right, give her some. Bring her. Give her some breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's You're a cool pair. She's gonna fucking throw water on her. And yeah. Unclean whore. <laughs> we couldn't get away with that shit. Three in my weeks house. ago, I oh, stayed no. at my mom's house. I went to some party with my uh, girlfriend, and we're gonna stay there because we got drunk. And my mom's like, "You guys can't sleep in the same bed." What? I'm like, "Are you serious?" She's like, "Yeah, seriously, she's gonna have to sleep in another room." That didn't happen. Three weeks ago. Yeah, three weeks ago. Maybe she I'm like, come on, Mom. Said, Look, this is my house. I don't want that going on in here. <laughs> wow. I'm like, man, you're fucking old school. Because you're not married yet? <laughs> yeah, we're not married, so we couldn't sleep in the same bed in our house. <laughs> so what you should have done was fucked her in the ass in the living room, She's a whore, and then Norman. slept in separate beds <laughs> and left video. It was great, because then I just banged her and went to the couch. I didn't have to cuddle. You know, that's actually pretty great. Yeah. Uh, sorry, my mom says. <laughs> yeah. You should do that at your own house. Look, I love my mom. I know. I know. I, you got to go home, sweetie. I don't. My mom wouldn't approve of this. Right. Get the fuck out. And give me some that's... time to have some snacks. Watch cable. <laughs> you want to hear something <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Is it going to be about how your, your ankles look like Hillary Clinton? What an awful way no. to start a conversation. <laughs> Would you like to hear something interesting? Interesting. Interesting. I love interesting right. things. Please. Well, here's yes. a humorous anecdote. <laughs> One time, uh, me and my wife were arguing, and she was mad at me, and she wanted to insult me. So, And she goes, and your son has a bigger dick than you do. Wow. Wow. That, that is interesting. How did she know that? That's Excellent. what I'd like to know. 
I mean, she probably only, the last time she probably saw it when he was like four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's not good. That's so that's not good. Not good. <laughs> Your son has had a bigger dick than you <laughs> since, since I fucking put talcum on it. <laughs> that's hilarious. What a great insult. Oh, that sucks, Ken. That'd be terrible if it was a reverse insult and she was mad at the son, and your father has a bigger dick than you. <laughs> <laughs> terrible insult that would be. <laughs> your son had a bigger dick than you when he was born. <laughs> my mother said the same thing to my father, but she didn't say bigger, she said heavier. <laughs> heavier. <laughs> your son has a girthier dick than you. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy. All right, Kenny, well, the better is you weights in your dick. The comedy show's going to be great, yes. And oh, hopefully yeah. we'll get those stress all, limos. All those limos for the, yeah. all right. the nice kids to fucking fuck in. Uh, Louis uh, started some Sarah Palin conversation during the break. It was pretty good, too. Apparently, he yeah, believes she good. is Adolf Hitler. Well, she's got potential to be. Yeah? Yeah, because like I was saying, that you only in times of national crisis, you only need like 30% of the public to take over. And we're in that... Crisis well, we mode. might if one bad thing happens, like a major 9-11-y kind of thing. Yeah, I like yeah. that. That's a cutesy adjective now. 9-11-y. It was kind of 9-11-y. We're describing a date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a little bit 9-11-y. Yeah, like that date I had on 9-11 that was ruined <laughs> by 9-11. I don't think Sarah Palin's any threat. I think that I really she, don't. if there's some bad thing, then she could grab. And take over. Just that she's pro life, though. I don't, she'll never get the. Well, never. again, when the people are like vote. weighing their beliefs and weighing, like going, you know, I don't like this and I don't like, but the pro life, but then again, she's soft on crime, that kind of thing. I don't on know. an even playing field? No, but with a, with some fucking chaos going on. I think you'd rather have like a guy in there <laughs> no that's, shot. that has the similar. Uh, thought as she does. Ooh, similar I mean, mindset. There's Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Hillary Clinton will get elected way before Sarah Palin. Hillary Clinton would massacre her, her head to head in any yeah. debate. And even people who like Sarah Palin couldn't deny that she got the. Hillary would massacre her in a, in a head to head. Her voice is just so annoying. Yeah, but annoying. it doesn't matter it's, when you win. Like, mm. it, that doesn't matter. That's the thing about it. That's how stupid liberals are that they think that if you study up and you're a better debater, that that means shit to the average American. <laughs> like when, when, uh, when John Kerry debated George Bush, oh, yeah. he outfacted him, and he out he was smarter than him. He said more knowledgeable things, and he was more correct about everything. But, he was but then Bush just went, "Well, you know, nine eleven. You want that again? Come on, let's go, guys!" And everyone went, like, "Yeah, I know what you're saying, well, George." Yeah, then, oh, but then sure reporting for duty. Really yeah, no, he's full oh, of that. Fucked it up. Oh, I, I blame him for all of it. Moment. I blame him for all of it. And also, they don't stand. Liberals don't even. The, the Democrats don't even stand up for who they're supposed to stand up for. You know, like gay when uh, when when they were talking about gay marriage oh, yeah, in the yeah. debates, mm. Bush had a really salient point. He didn't say, "I don't think gay people should be not. I don't think people should be gay." He didn't say anything anti-gay. He said marriage is a really simple contract that's understood everywhere in the country, and if you start having it be different in different places, that's a very uh, as a very volatile issue and it's a little scary. And that's something that pro-gay people could get behind. It was a good fucking argument. Behind. Then they throw it to to Kerry, and he goes, uh, "Well, I you know I heard I heard Dick Cheney's daughter's a fucking dyke." Like, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, he brought that out of nowhere. That was, that was his was whole so argument. Handed. <laughs> yes, hey, like, she that's chews. It? Box, <laughs> and battle teacher, <laughs> and you're the and you're the fucking liberal. Like Reporting they just for duty. <laughs> oh, what no, a worse. tool! <laughs> yeah. What an embarrassing. Plus, it, I don't think anybody liked the fact that he married rich. I don't think no. people liked the fact that he married a rich broad. A rich, ugly he was like broad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rich, ugly, foreign, Ketchup, stupid broad. Nasty. Who didn't want to be first lady whatsoever? Yeah, nobody wanted no. to look she, at her. She didn't want to be exactly. I, my name is Tisha Hines, Remember? I have something to say. say something. Don't, well, don't. <laughs> say exactly. It. Put say your pussy on my burger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we care about. Squeeze your menstrual fluid onto my burger. Yeah. Hines, bitch, and fucking hit the road. <laughs> Exactly. I'm going to have a wiener. Put some Heinz ketchup on your snatch and eat it. Exactly. It's the only way I can kill a taste. <laughs> Sarah Palin offends me because the way she, like she said in the, her her uh, last thing, whatever the fuck she said, that uh, we should pray more, like that we should be more religious uh, in America because our economy would be stronger and yeah. we'd be safer, like that we would prosper more. This, To me, that's the most offensive religious how is, idea. How is that? She's not saying we should praise God as a, because he gave us life 
And because he's, you know, he loves us. Because it would give us more golden idols. Yeah, because he would give us more shit. <laughs> right. That's the most offensive more Christian American attitude. Stuff to... And that's, yeah, because that's, my, even my mom, who's devout Catholic, says mm -hmm. you, you don't pray for money. Of course not. Yes, that's the one thing. You can't do that. You no, pray for other shit. thing I do say as a fucking, <laughs> as a public leader figure, that if you pray, you'll get stuff. What do you say to the fucking little old ladies that pray and get cancer and die while they're praying, going... Please, Lord, please, this hurts. Ow, then now it hurts Cure more. Please, me. Lord. Oh, they, they fucking, they, yeah. they took out my vagina and it's, uh, <laughs> and now I can't. Okay, but thank yeah. you. But God, please, please now. Oh, my mortgage is gone. I'm homeless. But I'm like, <laughs> I'm like praying there's a fucking six underneath the king at the dealer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Like, well, the old on. ladies aren't looking God, at it right. Please break. And the, old, the so dealer break. Is that old lady, uh, like, just God hates her? That's yes. the only, that's yeah. the only. That's why he had her cut removed. <laughs> <laughs> and he had her fucking, he but turned into a JFK say. hanger. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there was a guy, I mean, God is uh, fake and isn't there, but if he was, it's the, it, the idea of saying <laughs> that damn. if you ask him, he'll give you stuff is just fucking offensive. And then you have no responsibility, like he gave us the earth, but there's certainly no responsibility to take care of it. Again, I don't give a shit about the earth, and I don't think there's a God, but if you're in that <laughs> world where things matter to yeah. you, she's a cunt. <laughs> she doesn't bother me at all. Honestly, she and we talked about this in the break. The reason people say she's dating, she's not. It's because people feel protective of her because of the way the left attacks her in ways that they don't attack other liberals. That's what bugs me. Like, I, I didn't care what Letterman said. It didn't bother me at all that he, he made the joke about A-Rod and her daughter. But I don't see any late night talk show host doing that about Obama's kids or about a lip. That's to me the issue. No, People I feel totally agree. About they go that. after her in ways that make her really uh, glorified. But that's going to continue. That's not going to. But stop. no one has gotten fired for it. I just made fun. I did a racial joke, and he gets he gets fired. Uh, how about this? David Schuster made, said What's something that? about Hillary Clinton's. He was a, an MSNBC correspondent. Mm -hmm. Said something about Hillary Clinton's daughter. He said to Chelsea, he "Goes is she pimping her out?" Oh, the oh, yeah, network apologized. Schuster was suspended for two weeks. No one has any penalties for attacking Palin. She's not this powerful thing. People just feel protective of her. She, she, believe me, she's never going to well, win. Well, she doesn't have any power now, but I think she could take it. I really do. But there's no penalties for attacking her. Like she, Hillary Clinton's well, daughter. So. No, no, but I'm saying that, that shows you like where the power base. There's no well, no, Hillary true. Clinton's a powerful person. She fucking mouthed off about her daughter being spoken about that well, way. Li the whole network groveled. Yeah. They suspended a guy. Liberals are such, there's just such gui guideless, full of full of shit people. Because I mean, I'm I have I guess liberal views about yeah. some things. I could see that. Um, uh, but <laughs> but uh, like but man, me, little boy. But sex. I hate the fucking. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm liberal, but look. <laughs> yeah, if little, the boy is yeah, man, you know, boy sex. Lou is very left wing about. Look, if I'm, look, I just feel like if a man wants to have sex with a boy, <laughs> and the boy is you know small enough to be overpowered, <laughs> oh, absolutely, then he should go ahead and have sex with him. <laughs> I mean, why did God make him so young and frail? Exactly. If it wasn't so that you could fuck him if you felt like. Why it? did God make his arms so breakable and chicken wing like? Exactly. You Good know. point, Lou. <laughs> Point. It's got six Thank pack you. abs. Oh, you you can pass that up. Jesus. <laughs> but the, it's on the swim team. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Fuck. Well, like when Obama was running for president, there's all these these movements and that beautiful poster and uh, a song by yeah. what's his fucking head. You know what? And it's all, all that about stuff. hope. But it's all gone. It's all about Nobody's. Hope. He's fighting for no his life now. now. <laughs> like he's. But he's all this time that he's been fighting to for health care reform yeah. and bank reform and all this stuff. Where are those people? Why isn't there a really cool poster that says health care with with R and B singers singing? You know, like why aren't there? There's rallies against it, and there's all those fucking yeah. Tea Party people. You know why? Because they're activated, people, but there's no liberals actually hitting lie. the streets and going, hey, "Let's get behind this president that we were all so excited about." They've all gone on with their lives. They don't give no. a shit. No, nope. they're not. They're not into it. They don't care. But they don't actually. You know, they. Uh, they don't. They, you know what I'm saying? They the don't. They don't. Moved they don't. On to it's no good. It's no good, Henry. You can't. You can't. I can't <laughs> have it. You can't, can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. They. They all moved on to the next cause of not using yeah. the R word and things yeah, like that. Exactly. So they. They spread. They spread themselves pretty thin as far yeah. as causes go. Yeah. Let's and then the politicians themselves, the Democrats, know that it is n not a popular. Fucking platform, the healthcare right. thing, and they want to keep their jobs in November. So they're which, not doing nothing. By the way, 
They will not. Well, there by the way, be a yeah, that's what Congress is doing. But what about all the grassroots people? What exactly. about all those people well, that were knocking that on are doors? Sure that there's no the, uh, the, the, the great the, schlep to Florida. Oh, the, why well, the fuck maybe, isn't that shit going on now? You mean like the uh, Acorn, that great organization? You mean like those people that were fucking just criminals? Well, <laughs> see, Obama. Well, talks. there was a lot of people that were active. Though. I mean, the, the Acorn was one yeah, of the group, but votes there was a and, lot of people. I understand, but you know, there's a lot of. See, the liberals have so many causes. They have. They have the whole the whole world to save there's there's a global warming there's fucking the r word the n word there's poverty that oh my god no, they're and, saving everyone no, you're, and republicans are focused it's just hey fuck faggots it's, stop uh, abortion exactly. yeah and, 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 least, and steal and money from least, poor people at least we're <laughs> so united in that <laughs> yeah no exactly like re republicans exactly. and conservatives when you look at like fox news funnel the money upward people. fuck the faggots that's all Let's <laughs> they're, keep they're your eye on the ball united. Like re yeah. Republicans and conservatives are united. You will hear, you yeah. know, Hannity talking about um, all the other guys that are. That, you'll hear him talking about Beck and and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And and they're like buddies. Yep. They're talking about buddies, like yep. buddies. We're all for this cause. The liberals, but they won't even talk about each other, and they no. they don't agree with each other half no. the time. You know, they, this one isn't left enough. This one uh, used some language that offended me. I yep. said, uh, so they they'll never get the power base that. The right has. They'll just never have it. Look at it in, look at it in Congress. Yeah. They can't even get that fucking shit together, and they they run the joint. No, it's amazing. They have both. They even had. And a, they can't They even had the sixty percent. They, they had the sixty yeah. percent. They can't and they couldn't make do it happen. It. They couldn't and then do every anything. other Democrat is tripping over their own cocks as they fucking try to uh, uh, hold their office. You got Charlie. Uh, uh, Misappropriation of funds wrangle, wrangle that has been the, the the Teflon fucking douche in New York for for years. He's finally yeah. th that finally came down on him. You got this other motherfucker that that decides he wants to tussle Rope. a fucking guy's hair and well, he's a uh, yeah, he's a Democrat right? and hang out with fucking that's right. naked guys in showers. That's right. <laughs> we should get into the massive thing because that Larry King stuff last night was great. Yes, for I, don't, I don't think Obama, yes. the problem is I think Obama talked a good game when he ran and everyone bought it hook line and sinker and, great and he hasn't shown anything yet, but it's early. I mean, but people that really bought it like holy shit, within two weeks everything's going to change. There's hope change and it hasn't, so everyone just pretty much is hiding from it. It's like your yeah. it's like your friend that brags that the Jets are going to kick the fucking Colts ass. We're going to fucking blow him out. And all of a sudden the Colts are up like 38 nothing in the third quarter and you're trying to call him on the phone. He's not answering. <laughs> well, that's what I think. hiding. Because yeah. he talked to fucking, he talked talk some shit. Exactly it. And then no, that's what I think. Right I, now. I think Obama's still trying to hang in there. And he's, yeah, but absolutely. he needs more than just him. He's more one support. branch of the but government. Nobody's fucking keep, helping no one, him. But no They're one all wants hiding to, or just not doing want, anything. They want to keep their jobs. Yep. And they know that the, the majority of the American people have health care, first of all. Do we want the insurance companies to fucking reel this shit in? Yes, but it doesn't mean overhaul the whole fucking system, reach more fucking uh, deeper into my well, fucking But even pocket. if that, whether or not that's a good idea, and it's no, nobody wants to listen to us debate health care reform. I know. But yes. even if... Even if whether or not it's a good idea, nobody that fucking put him in office and got energized because it was sexy then is is there yeah, trying to help this moved. happen. No. They're, they're not trying to help this happen. There's a new show on. Well, if you okay. voted for Obama, which is uh, more people that then didn't, mm -hmm. then you should be taking part in, in this thing. Because it was a hard, because he picked a hard fight. We didn't just to go, let's go Democrat this year and swing a little right, that way. Right. This was a choice by Americans and by certain important fucking stupid cunt actors and stuff <laughs> to put the, to put a guy in who's going to, to and he said when he, when he ran, he didn't say, he didn't do a bait and switch. He said, "My the first thing I'm going to do is totally overhaul the health care. And he became president based on saying that. But now that he's trying to do it, nobody, everybody's hiding. They expect him to do it by himself. Well, because all the poor people that were like, oh, I'm voting for Obama. We're going to get finally get some money. Realize the health care thing. If you don't have health insurance under his new plan, you get fined $700. Yeah. So, like, wait a minute. I can't afford it. Now I'm going to get fined $700 at the yeah, end of the year. Yeah, exactly. You think Obama becomes uh, a waste of time in the end? No, I think he still has a or chance. You think, you think he's got I a chance like to do Obama, some stuff? Man. I really do. I, I, think I, he's I, I don't know why I like him, but I do. I mean, he's he doesn't give up because now he just it's like healthcare ain't going away. He just refuses, right. and he just he just went to start making speeches on the road about it. Good luck. And he's saying, yeah, well, he's November, trying. I think he's going to be a lame. He duck. thinks it should happen again. It's debatable no, whether it shouldn't, but he's done. trying. 
So, you know, I don't know. Thing. I think uh, Does he get some he's stuff done, though? He's given it a no. shot. After four years? No. I, I do think, though, it's true what people are saying, that this, sh this shit is generally broken. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it they really can, is. None of them can do anything anymore. Nothing gets done because no one on either side wants to give the other side anything. No. They don't, and it's like a bad uh, uh, divorce when things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. yeah. Oh, you man. Stop, into that. You stop yeah, empathizing yeah. with each other, and then it yeah. just ends. Hey, uh, this guy wants it badly. Let's go to Jeff in Massachusetts. Jeff. Hey, guys. I uh, love the show. Um, Anthony, it seems like you use the word liberal to mean Democrat. No, and, no, uh, no, no. I'm a Democrat. I'm I'm not liberal. I make over 200 grand. I have guns. Uh, I think, you know, the vast majority of the country is in the middle, whether you're Democrat well, the right or to life, Republican. The right-to-life Democrats are the ones that are holding up the health care. Uh, uh, that's right. Bill, yeah, because I mean, they they don't want to. He's got the number of votes. He can just shove it through. But there's Democrats that don't. They want a guarantee that that money's wow. not going to be used for abortion. They so, just want their fucking name in the paper. That's so they they're want. not voting. They for have it. handlers. Yeah. Those guys who go. You know, if you take a stand on, you're right to life, aren't you? Kinda. Yeah. If you yeah, take man. a stand, you're on CNN right tomorrow. Oh, right. Which ones are there? Everything you say, I just want to let you know that there's a lot of Democrats out here that aren't too far away from you. We're not all liberals, not even close. Right, well, well, that's nice what mostly he's the right. The most of the countries in the center, and yeah. the extremists try to pick off. Everybody that's on the, the far left, far right tries to mm. pick people off. And the thing is, if you can say something, it's like the thing I was saying about what Bush said about gay marriage. He picked a centrist, uh, you know, a view against gay marriage. That's something, you know, a good 30% on the left of it, and everybody on the right will yeah, totally yeah. agree oh. with you. But Democrats don't do that. Democrats nope. don't. And if they do it, they go way, way too way far. Way the fuck too they far. Just, the so they have ways. no idea what they think. Who is the pro-life Democrats that hold it up? I didn't um, even know they were any. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure of their names. A couple? But, or? Uh, no, there's, I think there's about six. I well, they want to know that six... federal funds won't be used for abortions. They want it written, guaranteed that no federal funding will go towards abortions in this health care bill. So uh, that is holding up the bill uh, as far as them being able to slide it through with 51 uh, votes. But oh, the fucking right to life. Abortion is 400 bucks. Pay yeah. out of your pocket. Yeah. You're not that is true. Going. You're right. It's not like it's yeah, 10,000 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Half and a ride to the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I need that right money. Right. You were so close to the band, you were scared. Damone <laughs> 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 never showed up. Damone rules. Damone. He never that. showed up. And nobody gave him his ticket money. He was it trying. Was, you wanted it as much as I did. Fucking he pumps her twice, <laughs> leaves her fucking weight with a cunt full of jizz, no <laughs> orgasm. She has a fucking baby. She gets pregnant. <laughs> Did he say you wanted, wanted it more than I did? Yeah, you wanted it more than I did. All right, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Hey, I need that money. <laughs> I love that guy. Hey, uh, so Master was on uh, Larry King. This audio is worth playing because Larry was obsessed with asking him, Asking him if he groped that guy. If he groped the guy. Yeah, yeah. the story is really out of hand, man. He is making accusations that because he was voting against uh, the bill mm -hmm. that um, the Democrats wanted him out. And it, he said it came directly from the White House. That uh, That's why they made these allegations about oh, these um, creeps. sexual uh, little tussles that he did. But if this, the guy, if this is the guy... The more I hear about Massa, if like this is the guy, like one of the guys who's holding up the health care bill, yeah, I want the health care bill to pass. Because this guy, the more I hear about this guy, the more I think he's a cunt. The more I hear <laughs> about this guy, at first I was on his side totally, but the more I hear about him, he's like, ah, fuck him. He's just a disgruntled prick. Well, I would like to see him gone, oh my but I would like to see that. Oh. <laughs> I want to see Yay, it pass. Yay, pudding! Uh, I do want to see it pass, and I didn't until just this moment. Really? Yeah. Just the right this As moment. you pass the gas. No, I just want, I'm sick of nothing getting done. I said, yeah. just You're, pass it already. The whole country got fucked. Cutting off 60% of it. your salary despite your fucking wallet. <laughs> nah, they ain't gonna fuck with my salary. Oh, no, they will too. I know how to hide oh, money. Is it just awful? Is it bad, Lou? God damn, Lou. What's the matter, Lou? All of a sudden, so you don't want to be on the team anymore? Lou comes in <laughs> to plug some gigs, Jim pees in his friggin' oatmeal, <laughs> oh, and then farts and waves it right in his face. 
Jim Jim you, he's been cool. nothing but nice to Jim. He put him on his HBO show. <laughs> his Jim's new on his show. new show. Yeah. Right away, he's what getting refreshed. Fun. Nothing but nice oh, to him. God, and I'm yeah. being nice to Lou. Yeah. Help I Jim's gave career. him Tinkle. Right. He's just getting a little fucking manners. Gave him a role on an HBO series. New series. I'm breaking your balls and you got it when you're getting fucking fresh. You're getting fucking fresh. Fucking fresh. <laughs> Ruin my party. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. God. It's all fine. It's all calm. It's yeah, all right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, it's all right, girls. Don't get nervous. There's two balloons and fucking <laughs> get a nice gangsters. Party. Two <laughs> gangsters and some balloons and two whores. I don't have a funny <laughs> line about party. how it's the worst Couple party drinks. ever. A horrible Just party. Two, a couple <laughs> balloons and two guys telling murder stories. Ruin <laughs> <laughs> my party. Nice party. Yeah. It really was a but bad party. But it really party. rolled it out for you, didn't it? I love when he's talking to De Niro when Pesci comes back yeah. and he's just like, you know, I just want what's mine. And, and, my, and De Niro's just right. sitting there like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, well, you know, I guess you. I did my time. Yeah, yeah. But I, and actually, time. De Niro is doing a pretty decent job of listening to him, which shows uh, you yeah, if somebody's yeah. really listening, when you're grousing about your life's problems, somebody's listening to you, they might, somebody might be coming up behind you and <laughs> fucking hit you in the fucking head. fucking kill you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy you were talking to will kick you and look no. funny, oh, he make jumped. funny faces while he kicks you. Jumped right in on the kick fest. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Nice. You want to do the audio? Or you want to take a break? Oh, what do you want yeah. to do? Let, let's, let's let's hear a little. Let's take a break and suck each other off. Jim might have to shit. I just smelled that. Yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should take a break. Horrible. By the way, you're welcome, Lou. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> can't share gas with a friend all of a sudden. The selfish takes for granted that there's more where that came from. How old are you? He's in his forties. I'm, oh I'm fifty-seven God. years young. <laughs> right. I'll be fifty-eight. He's in his forties. I'm forty-one. Forty-one years old. And look what he's done in the last hour. Something even a twelve-year-old go to you. Twelve, you got to stop that. Yeah. Now, I have a friend from high school who hasn't who hasn't grown up, and he got he got fired from a telemarketing job. That's how you know he's well he's doing. Yeah. Because he would light his farts all day, <laughs> <laughs> and his boss would just sit there going, "Oh!" And then one day he announced that he had this thing he was going to do. He had everybody take the blinds, close the blinds in the office, and he took a. Uh, you can Drew do this by the way. He took a fluorescent lamp, table lamp, unplugged it, and he walked across the rug shuffling to oh, get yeah, right, static. Yeah, yeah. Took out his dick, <laughs> no. touched the lamp with his dick, and it and it lit up. <laughs> I didn't know I mean, about his dick. Fluorescent bulbs with light with static yeah, electricity. Like, yeah. And so he said his boss let him do Like his boss said, all right, go ahead and do it. You're, gonna, you're fired if you do this, but I want to see it. <laughs> and they all watched and he did it. And the boss was like, wow, anyway, you're fired. I'll pack your shit. <laughs> what a way to go out. Yeah. yeah you get hired by an energy company for that. <laughs> yeah, what happened at your last job? Well, yes. <laughs> My cock lit up the room. Well, a, future hired. Boss, a future boss has to respect that. Yeah. 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 Hired a you got to respect second. that. Yes. Cock will be in the space shuttle someday. <laughs> yeah. right. Lighting Fuck. our lunar trips. Fuck it. We'll take a break and we'll figure what it out. What do you say next. we all make love? All right. Catching up with Louis C.K. today, who's going to be at Caroline's all weekend long, starting tomorrow night. Thir I mean, Thursday through Sunday. There's a million shows, but most of them are sold out already. So get on the phone if you want to see Louie and what he's been up to. There might be a Friday Late Show edit. Yeah, I think yeah they'll figure it out Sunday when they call. Because it's not on the Caroline's website you, uh, so well, you have to dig it out. Sunday to 7 o'clock show, it's not on the regular show list. They okay. made it a separate event, which is fucking stupid. Right. Sorry. Uh, 7 o'clock Sunday is a benefit for my kid's school. That's right. It's the same show. It won't feel like any other show. Right. It's just that it costs more money. <laughs> you can try. And uh, you're giving be, money to my, my daughter's school. Let's be honest. You can try a little harder because it's for your kids. A little bit harder. <laughs> a little bit harder. <laughs> Just call uh, Caroline's and they'll tell you yeah. what shows are available. And then yes. we got uh, Florentine in studio as well. Uh, he's got a lot going on. Mexicali Live, Teaneck, New Jersey, Friday. And then uh, Saturday, you go up to Mohegan Sun. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Good to see Florentine as well. And we got, yes, Kenny. Oh, no. Jim Florentine does good Twitters, too. He just got on Twitter. Yeah, but like he's got, he does them good, like. Uh, yesterday, he went to get a newspaper, yeah. and the lady behind the cash register said, do you want to buy any candy? And Florentine said, I'm 40 years old. I don't like candy. I'm not eight. I'm 40. I like blowjobs. <laughs> That's what he twittered. <laughs> that long? I did not twitter that. Yeah. Is there, how many, I didn't think you could fit that many characters yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, that's a little more than 140 <laughs> yeah. characters there. And it's, then he said, <laughs> Look at Kenny. He's having, look and at then him. The he's so happy today. What, why are you so happy today? The beginning of a Twitter story. And then the lady, she says, yeah. she goes like this, she says, Oh, I ran out of room. <laughs> he's losing I can't why are you so story. happy today? It's a terrific show. Why wouldn't I be happy? Oh, well, he's got 
got that. You just right. sit in the corner watching the action, aren't you? Yeah, that's what yeah. I do. I sit in the corner because I should be seen and not heard. People <laughs> notice on well, no, that when you would stand in the clear open and just not talk. <laughs> You're doing the opposite. You're <laughs> hiding and talking a lot. <laughs> Kenny, people a, people notice on the the latest video we filmed that you have very dry lips. My chapped lips. Do you want to comment Ooh. on all the dry lip jokes that are? How's your boyfriend feel about that? <laughs> They, no, no. They say your I, lips are very chapped. I'm great comedy fodder. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an ass. Kenny's lips are like an alligator asshole. We're going to have a weather. Alligator's asshole. Yeah. What a great thing that must be. Because it's always dragging the dirt. It has to be dry and unpleasant. Uh, I think it's also dry. It just conjures yeah. an image of an alligator taking a hard oh. shit. Like yeah. the alligator going... <clears throat> a pellet shit. We forgot to ask Florentine about <laughs> ass eating. Reptiles or birds, yeah. like, really <laughs> forcing a shit. <laughs> it just seems to come right out of them. Well, because they. It's Who's not that guy? Todd Glass is a comedian. Has yeah, a that's hilarious bit about a bird, like, leaning up, its wing on the tree and going, oh, if I could just shit this out right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was about it's seeing swing. a really big bird shit on a car that's, like, white and brown. He's like, ah, oh, he must have been sick. Like, he feels bad. Yeah. He pictures the bird going, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If they don't get the duties out, they're not going to fly so no, well. Exactly. They're going to be weighted down a little bit. Yeah. Hey, uh, Florentine, ass eating. Uh, Jimmy was bragging about your ass eating. I'm saying that you like getting it done. Yeah, I like yeah, getting yeah. it done. Those guys don't like their asses oh. eating. I love my no, ass oh, eating. Yeah. Well, I know what's going on with my ass. Huh? I don't want to put anyone through that shit. Well, you know, no. after a shower or something like that. Uh, I like I eating a uh, girl's ass, uh, but having my ass eaten makes me uncomfortable. Uh, thank you. I am thank uh, you. from the same school. Never had thought. that done, no. Louie? I have, I, somebody not started we've doing it had once. It done, but somebody started doing it. And I, you know what? Uh, there was a specific <laughs> reason why I didn't like it. Because, because it was a dog. Was I don't think about. It. I don't think about. No, that's fine. Because then I'm. A, I put the peanut butter where I want it, and I can control the action. <laughs> but I, you know, I don't think about myself when I'm having sex. I'm just in. You know, I'm in the moment with this yeah. person. I'm saying person because I sometimes fuck guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and but in this moment, uh, I was laying on my stomach, and this she started doing this, and I got this really vivid sense that I'm this big fucking whale on my stomach, and my sort of shapeless ass is kind of <laughs> cocked up into the air, like I'm in a pose that it should be like a hot girl, right? And it's just I'm I know like my bald head is now facing. Up oh, and my big, my kind of fucking hairy back, <laughs> big back, and I just, th it just gave me a very unhappy feeling about myself. Yeah, if I was yeah. like, you know, fucking Derek Jeter with my ass stuck up in the air, I'd be like, yeah, eat it, bitch. <laughs> you know it's good. And A Rod would, yeah, and A Rod would be like, yes, dear, okay, yes, sweet sir. I'm, I'm having my ass eaten. I put my arms straight out and my legs, and I pretend I'm a superhero flying, <laughs> and that's how I'm carrying the damsel in distress on a tongue. <laughs> Really? So you don't want it? Dopey, oh, you've never had that done. I, I, I've had it done, yeah. It, it, I'm with Lou, though. It's kind of uncomfortable. Love it. I don't know. I it's just, fucking it just feels uncomfortable. And, uh, I, I guess I, I would prefer I to... Not, uh, I don't like... A, a I kind of, it's just my case. I would prefer to shove my cock into a woman's pussy and, <laughs> and just roughly shove it in and out till I shoot cum up inside of her fucking You're old school. Pussy. Yeah, 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 what's like wrong that? with you? You're I old school. Have you tried that? Have you had that done? You're old school. Wow. Lou, they're not mutually exclusive. Thank you. <laughs> Florentine, anything else on ass eating? No, there's nothing like it, man. It's fucking great. I remember this girl I was dating. You remember we used to live with yeah, her yeah, yeah. a long time ago, the sure. other one. Yeah. Um, she just came home after like three years in a relationship, and she just friggin' lifted my ankles up and held me up like a little baby and just started eating my ass. So I'm like, <laughs> what? Wow. After I'm like, whoa, this is wow, this is nice. And I'm like, where did this come from? Yeah. She goes, yeah, my my girlfriend just told me about she eats her boyfriend's ass, and you got to try it, and it's great. So I'm gonna start doing that now. I'm like, fucking beautiful. <sighs> like a yeah, chick never does that three years in. You know, wow. first the first six months or whatever, they'll throw it out there and then they'll stop. And then she would do it every time. Wow, it's fucking great. Wow. I had to bargain to get that done. Like, all right, if you want to see this movie, all right, if you eat my ass, I'll take you to that movie. <laughs> I'll take you to Alice in Wonderland. We got Brett Michaels. <laughs> you eat my ass. 
Then I'll That's take you right. to the Mr. Fox, whatever it is. <laughs> hey, Brett, you might not want to come in right now. We're talking about ass eating. Yes. We're, we're talking about ass eating, Brett. Yeah. What are you guys doing today? Yeah, What's up, Brett? Brett Michaels, everyone. Nice to meet you. You guys just keep. I'm just coming in to listen to the conversation. We've we've run out of like. Doing good. Doing all right. We've run out of room, sir. So just. Uh, you guys keep talking. I'm just coming in. No, you could add in. Uh, we're talking about uh, pros and cons. Ass eating. Yeah, getting your ass eaten. Uh, yeah. Getting, getting your ass, your ass eaten. eaten. Is the that thing. Giving or receiving. Then both. Go ahead. both. Grab that mic over. Yeah. Yeah, both. Right. Just okay. grab it. There you go. I have to love a woman to eat her ass. Like I have to love. I have to feel for her. No. I just want to. I just want to grab. The way no, it's same. even better when you don't no, love. No, the no, same no. way that people love to grab a little kid's cheeks and go, you little cutie. I just right. want to grab her. Just fucking right? stick oh. my tongue up her yeah. asshole. Cheeks. I, I, say, <laughs> I say the same thing to a girl's asshole. <laughs> yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> you just as sweet as you little thing. Do we have, no, a, do, do we have a high, uh, like a higher chair or a stool so Brett Michaels doesn't feel like he's at the no, kid, I'm good. The kitty <laughs> table over more, there? I've never been more comfortable in my <laughs> life. Look at it. We all have to turn around and look at you. We're discussing having our asses eaten. Now, me and Florentine on the end love it. Lou, open it. Don't like their asses. I don't want I'm my fan. ass eaten. No, I don't like but it. I will. I will fucking go tonsils deep. Yeah, we'll get in there. In, though, a, in right. a girl's ass. That's How do you feel? Sure. We're not. I'm going to go with you on that one. I've never. I, yeah, I'm going to go with you on that one. I I can go in uh, deep with the tongue. I would yeah. like mm. not to have my ass eaten. Really? Really? Right. Really? No, 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 wait. Man. Only for this yeah, reason. Right. Only for their safety as well. Right. You know what I mean? There's many things. Like... I'd have a lot of nervousness going on down there. However, <laughs> giving it, I'm a giving person. I like to give yeah. them a tongue, yeah, that's what it a is. tongue lashing down right. right after a, a nice bath, and you know, you just drop the deuce before. So just, <laughs> prior to the bath. Yeah. Prior yeah. to the yeah. bath. Or in the bath. No. In the bath. Yeah. 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 I drop the deuce. Right. Take the bath. Take the bath, then you come out. Now you're then still nervous. Then I be up for an ass. Right. All right. Well, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> Look, it is a pretty direct hit if you fart with the, during an ass. Oh, I mean, it's, yeah. God damn. You know, yeah, I mean, it's really, if she's wow. blowing you, you just fart on her chin, Fuck right? <laughs> on her neck. Uh, <laughs> ass eating is just that going is right in yeah. terrible yeah. thoughts. Yeah. She actually swallows it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't uh, had a second cup of coffee yet. I'm yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys don't waste no time. No, really. not we at all. Gotta, we well, gotta start early. Balls deep. Celebrity yeah. Apprentice starts Sunday already? Uh, Mar yeah, March. God, I remember so when you came in here to promote the fact that you you got hired or whatever. For but that. Sharon, last time you heard Sharon, Sharon and us oh, hanging out. Dude, you were part of one of our big videos. Right? Yeah. I know, I know you're a big star, but this was big for us when that uh, <laughs> video went viral. Susan when Boyle, she, when it, she was uh, trash talking Susan Boyle, you were right. here having a good time with and, that too. And you remember when I said you guys, I said everyone was laughing. I said I'm not going to make any comment because I don't know exactly what everyone's talking about. <laughs> yeah, remember, very careful. the good thing about my life is that sometimes I'm aloof as to what's happening in current events. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, she's great. Great. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Sharon Sharon going oh, she off. killed her. God bless Sharon for doing that, too. Yeah. A little honesty <laughs> doesn't hurt anybody. No. So you're out pushing the uh, Celebrity Apprentice? Yeah, I'm just out. It starts this uh, this coming Sunday, and then I got uh, the, the solo tour kicks off in, yeah. of all cities, Fargo. I love Fargo. Hey, it's a great rock What's city. the venue there? I'm wondering what they call them. It's called the venue. The venue. Really? The venue is called <laughs> the venue. Uh, the venue. <laughs> no, what a bunch of dopes in Fargo. Yeah. The uh, roof building. Call this? That's, That's why we call I do it. well there. It's literal, like I am. I'm like we're playing at the venue. What's the venue? The venue. The venue. The you play. You got the venue. You play the guitar. It's and you down get the by, dollar? The, by the lake. They're yeah. going crazy. Oh, yeah. you, get the, you play the venue, you play your guitar, you go and get, eat of the food, and you go home. Congratulations. <laughs> you get some money for Canadian? the Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, sure what I'm doing. Going. Well, yeah. Close to Canada. Yeah. 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 Close enough. I've got yeah. Pittsburghese, yeah. a lot of yins. Yins doing all right. Everything ends with yins. a question, even when you're asserting yourself. Uh, yins are real nice. That's how people start to sound when they get far away from places that matter. They just get, <laughs> like, let's at least talk interesting because it, right. everything we're saying means this, nothing. No, this state went up in flames. Things. No one in New York would know about it for several months. <laughs> <laughs> nothing would be affected. Until Brett's tour got rerouted. Then, then you'd hear it on the news. Yes. Fuck, Fargo blew up? When? <laughs> like six months ago. How's uh, Donald Trump, man? Any any good Donald Honestly, Trump good, stories? Yeah, he's he's a pretty intense guy, man. He, yeah, he he's funny, smart, witty, and I tell you what, you you realize where he got there the way he uh, he delegates and does stuff, man. He it's funny because you're sitting there and he he's taking in everything that's going on, so you kind of think he's not really paying attention to me slacking in the corner or like I said, he's on Trump time, which is early in the morning, and I'm on musician time, which is completely different. And it was uh, he's on though, man. He he is. He's he's a smart guy. You like doing the show? 
Yeah, I did. Who else is on yeah. the show, Brett, besides uh, an old, you and Sharon? That's a good one, Sharon, man. Sharon, Daryl Strawberry, Simbad, Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Uh, it's Madison Summer Sanders. Sanders and uh, it's, um, God, and then you so still tour, right? So you still tour. Everything, yeah. Yep, yep. So it's probably fun for you because you don't give a shit how that shit goes. Really. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not like you're some desperate actor trying to get on a TV. You're having fun doing that, but yeah, then you're a fucking rock star. Happening. So who even, who even I get cares? The, little, the best of both worlds. It's great. He did yeah, a song yeah, no, with you're right, though. You're you, right. You, yeah. And it's true, you did songs with Miley Cyrus recently? I did, uh, yeah. I can went you tell in, her and, it's okay, she could be a kid? Yeah, I think it's exactly what I what said. What the fuck's wrong with this broad? She, no, she, she wants to be 30 already. You know, no, enjoy she's your... she's great, man. i got to stick up for her, man. She's a good musician. I've known her family a long time. And yeah. she, uh, we were doing, uh, she's recutting Every Rose Has a Storm because her first concert was a poison show. And, uh, oh, wow. and then that was yeah. uh, in Nashville. She came down to the arena there a couple years ago. And then she recut um, Every Rose. And, uh, and then I played her Nothing to Lose. And she just sang some stuff on it. It was, it was actually pretty cool. But yeah, I think in her position, man, she's. She, you, I think you're forced to grow up fast when you're that. Really, that you're gonna get some yeah. nice royalties off of that. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> not gonna suck. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> not gonna suck. Good. God damn, yeah, that's, some, that's some cash that's gonna oh, be coming yeah. in soon. I'm think Finally, so gonna get that grill. I've always wanted. Two <laughs> <laughs> filled in in the back. <laughs> you know, a good point, Florentine. Jesus. Yeah, because that, that fucking thing's gonna, gonna be sell. Good. That's gonna be. Who you going to roll with? What band is working with? Uh, just solo, I'm out by myself. And then, oh, you have uh, no opening act? This summer I go out, it's, uh, Brett Michaels and, or Leonard Skinner and Brett Michaels. Like, they did it with Kid Rock last year, so, uh, I'm gonna go out this year, and it's kind of, yeah, it's awesome, cause I'm. Are you gonna sing with them at all, or just totally uh, separate? Yeah, half. No, it'll be, it'll be us and Skinner, and we'll go out and do two separate shows, and then probably at the end come out and, uh, hopefully do a couple songs. I saw Skinner last year on that tour with Kid Rock. Yeah. Phenomenal. They're great, right? Unbelievable. Oh, I would like is. to see that. It's yeah. great. Every it song, is, you know, every same, song. Is there any of them you know the same song? guys? Yeah. Every song they play. Yeah. Uh, they're down to like two original members at this point, something like that. They've yeah, lost yeah. just about everybody. But you but know, but they what still sound like Skinner. forever. They do. Look, I like the, the new singer. Well, not new, but I mean, I like the brother, man. I think he's fucking. Yeah, What's his name? Brother. Donnie. Johnny. Johnny singing? Yeah. There's Donnie, Johnny, and Ronnie. Ronnie, Johnny, and Donnie. Yeah. And Johnny's. I thought Donnie was a singer now. Donnie was 38 special, and then maybe. He's, oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. Where is Donnie these days? I used to. I used to drink beers I, with him when I was doing I radio drink rock beers with him. I saw him down. I did a thing with all those guys at the Fox uh, is, Theater for Skinner's like reunion thing, and he was he was great. Is he still singing? Come out of the Fox Theater. They did a live album. Yeah. Like 76. Wait, wait. I want. Is Donnie still singing? Yeah. With yeah. 38 Special? I, I don't, you know what? I don't know, but I think so. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to go with you. How yes. do you not know everything in rock <laughs> yeah, and roll? <laughs> Damn it. Matter? I'm going back to my coffee. I was enjoying <laughs> you guys having fun. Yeah, do you Let's go back to eating ass. Let's go back to ass licking. Yeah. Like ass licking. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we really rock, need to That's know. all I know. Skinner's going to be fun. <laughs> Bob Kelly tells us, because I was at... I was at uh, How do you segue from ass butt licking? I know. We uh, just were all over the place. And then right into Miley and then Skinner. Yeah, well, that's all part of the same thing. Miley, that's true. I should say... I won't say a word because, you know... Yeah, by the way, there are women I would let We're him still talking nice. about How old is she again? Uh, uh, she's well, 17. She's only 17, yeah, but she really... Anyway, so 17, 17, by the way, is completely legal in New York. Certain, it depends on how is old you are, really? though. No, it doesn't. I thought there was a fucking... 17 a certain is the age of consent. You just really? can't show them anything pornographic. And how would you know this? You same? can't show them nudity... On the internet, you know every you, you, know you know every yeah. hair to be seen. I, yeah. I know every law. Really, I, I don't don't fuck around with me. Right, I got know. a Facebook that chick back then. Uh, <laughs> Massachusetts is sixteen, uh, unless the, the girl's a virgin. What? Then it's eighteen if she's. Wait a minute, how do you, how do you flowered. <laughs> that's impossible. I know, it, but, it, but it's a law that's actually on the books. Wait a minute. So if it's she's sixteen, unless she's a virgin. And in then which it's case 18. it's 18. So what, you have to fuck her when she's 18 you and put her in a have, time machine. You have to have gotten a 16-year-old that's already been fucking. Somebody <laughs> so broke the law already somewhere. Been, if she's already fucking, but she's she, But game. no one's allowed to fuck her, so someone has to no, illegally have fucked her. somebody else is 16 and oh, fucked her. <laughs> Then you can fuck. So you got to get your 16 year old nephew. You got to fuck this girl. Yeah, for just me. please fuck <laughs> this girl. Get in there. One stroke. I, I can just yeah. One pump. Just put it yeah. in. Break the plane. Bust that fucking hymen, and I'm in. Just, just break the plane like, like over the goal line. As long as you break crazy. the plane, it's you just got to bring it. You just got to bring an opener. Ready to replay. Just reach into the end zone and then get the fuck out. That law makes all the sense in the world. I don't know why, but it makes total sense. It does. 
Yes, it's the basically saying if she's 16 and someone, then fuck it, she's then worthless she's, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's been busted. Her life is shit. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's damaged good. But New York is the most fucked up thing. Because 17, you could absolutely have any kind of fucking ridiculous sex you want. But God forbid she saw a picture on your computer of pornography. That's crazy. That's illegal. That's crazy. And then fucking that also the thing makes is, wherever sense. they put that line... <laughs> The fact that you have to, like, stop people from fucking a kid that's too young <laughs> by making a law is just so fucked up <laughs> that people need to be told. I mean, to me, there's, like, a more general, like, if you'd see a girl, to me, here's the rule. If you picture her, picture her pregnant in your head, and if that makes you want to vomit, <laughs> right. don't oh, fuck her. Shit, that's fucking funny. I mean, that's how I felt, like, when Britney Spears was, first came on the scene and people were talking about her as a sex object, I yeah. felt, okay, well, pick, put her pregnant bu bu uh, you know stomach on her you're gonna you're gonna want to vomit and and cry I feel that with any don't woman. fuck her <laughs> yeah exactly i don't care how old yeah, they well, are i don't care if she's pregnant. 52 yeah. i don't want to see <laughs> a big pregnant <laughs> paging doc martin <laughs> paging doc martin we hey brent how did you guys deal with that like back in the poison days in the beginning you must have had you deal with the underage girls if you knew how old they were did someone it's, card them before they got on the bus yeah you it's pretty scary but you you know my thing is i'm gonna go with you on this yeah. one i'm not a uh i'm not the, that's not my thing you know what I mean? I like him. We were when we started to break, and when I say break, you know, the back of the van. We didn't have the bus. We right. we hadn't graduated up. We were still the roadie and the band. So uh, touring back then was, uh, you know, but most of it. I mean, we were what we were nineteen, twenty, twenty one years old. So yeah, it wasn't much of a problem when you uh, get, right. when you get to the ripe old age that I am now. It's yeah. uh, that's just not my thing. You know it's what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, I appreciate well, the girls that are on your show, right? Uh, they're all mature women. Twenty. Most of them say yeah. tw a lot of them. It's like twenty. Some of them are. Already a little broken down already. <laughs> They've been, been through little, some shit. Just right right, yeah. Yeah. right yeah. where you I want think them. They're all virgins. That's what they told me going <laughs> yeah. in. I, I must have been sadly mistaken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the uh, young the young stuff does it because their attitudes are not sexy. Most times, if a girl's eighteen, she's not going to know how to be dirty or not. To, you know, she's not going to do what I need her to do anyway. So I prefer somebody a little older. <laughs> well, a little you older. Than you can't get an eighteen year old to spit in your asshole. That's fucking difficult. <laughs> you know, a girls twenty four, twenty five will do well, that. You can if she's been misguided and destroyed inside. Yeah, I always like to say, well, well what's your dad In like? Connecticut. And yeah. she's like, I don't know. <laughs> or, she's, or if she's, or if she's Cuban. <laughs> and you go down there with some cash and talk to her dad for a minute. <laughs> Can I rent that girl pulling the plow? <laughs> oh, that's such a gross thing. I know a guy, I grew up with this guy who does that. The, the guys that go down to places like Cuba, places where your dollar, your um, yeah. the American dollar outweighs them so much that like, you can fuck young girls. You just five Then their parents will feed you dinner and like, like sing a mariachi song Thailand for you and, and send you in there. Jesus. Such a fucked up way to live your life. If you're an executive going to Thailand, we always, always talk about this. Yeah. It's just, you're so guilty. <laughs> you just, there's yeah, nothing. What are you doing there's over no there? There's no business yeah. to conduct it's over like, there. It's like, well, no, you don't get it. The hotel there has really good room service. Yeah, yeah. You always yeah. hear like, oh, the, no, the beaches. You went all the way the to Bangkok. The beaches are great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beaches are I never nice. hear the amusement park there. <laughs> yeah, 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 no yeah, water no, rides. Yeah. yeah, there's no Bangkok Disney. <laughs> no, the beaches are nice <laughs> in <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, 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 and it's two hours away, and you can't fuck children there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you fucking liar. Yeah, the guy's like got his business suit on like he's closing a big deal in some Bangkok shithole. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <is> selling dirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Nobody you're going there to have sex with no. children. Of course. If you're no. not, you should be. Why else would you go to Bangkok? <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to see a rickshaw up close. <laughs> <Yes>. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and eat fucking food that gives me diarrhea. Stay in the States. Hey, always, hey, was, there was some executive that got fucked up uh, recently with uh, his, his laptop. Oh, yeah. Went through customs and there was they turned it on. And it. I mean, this guy must have just shut his computer off yeah. with all the pictures on the screen. His screen so he turns it on, they all just pop. Yeah, his <laughs> screen <laughs> saver. It was like a 13 year old you know, pussy. fucking Dakota Fanning. It's amazing that, like, you know, a guy that has that much money, a big executive, you think he would throw away his laptop. Like, if I download kitty porn just on a fucking whim, if I was drunk, whatever. <laughs> I would go. You know what? I'm getting rid of this fucking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go buy another Dell laptop for 400 bucks. I'm just chucking this one. This one's going in the fireplace. Well, how about you just around fucking, the country? How about you just email yourself the pictures and then fucking rewipe your hard drive before you get on the plane? You dumb fuck. He knows just how to do it. The email he knows how to do it. There you go. I'm just you know, saying, you got another wrap just saying, on if you, I put myself through electronically it. sending the uh, pornography. I, which I is yes. I have another no desire crime. for kid porn. I mean, uh -oh. as, as much as I'm dirty, who hasn't seen enough shit? 
You've had enough, my right? Fucking <laughs> yes. I've seen it all. Squeaky clean, my computer. Yeah. Squeaky Here's clean. Here's what you can find on mine. I wouldn't, uh, it's, it, it, there's, uh, even if you're into it, even if you, you, you were fucking into it, you'd be crazy to fucking no, download even anything. What's his name? Uh, Pete Townsend oh, just yeah. looked at it because he was, go you know, he was molested as a kid. Yeah, and he, he yeah, looked at this stuff and then reported it. Sure. Reported it to he turned uh, himself uh, to in. the government. Yeah, yeah. No, like he people were beating up boys to the going government. Watch Fox yeah. Now. Videos. Yeah, <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I think I downloaded some porn. Porn with children. It's what? Uh, what did you do? Because yeah, yeah. yeah. he used a credit card or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then he, he saw this this shit come up and oh. turned himself in. And yeah, when you're starting them. to put in the code, the three letter code on your yeah. credit card on the, <laughs> on the, on the back, yeah. Fuckchild.com. <laughs> you got to pause and go. Expiration day. Who on second? Yeah. Wait, wait, Perhaps wait, not. I think it happens. Oh. You're jerking off, and it sounds like a great idea. And then as soon as you come, you're like, oh boy. Oh, oh, they, they, I better call you somebody. Take it. But so I mean, Brad, tell, I, so Brad, Brad, tell us about the Celebrity Apprentice on ABC. Yeah, 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 really. <laughs> I stayed completely out of that one. I had two daughters on my game. Yeah. No, but, but I mean, like, anybody who would lot register themselves in a kid uh, porn I thing. I go back is, with you to this on this. Yeah. I go back to, to yeah. I, I digress, yes. if I may, yeah. to the fact yeah. that it's just not an interest, so I'm not, and I stick to my pager. I still get yeah. a pager, so you Do can't. Do you really? You have a no, pager? but it sounds uh, good. Yeah. Got yeah. Got yeah. Got don't get in trouble with a pager. Not one that's important. That's true. You can't get in trouble with a pager, yeah. You know. phone number pops up, right? Yeah, there. no. There, who, what, I never saw. Well, like, I don't know, know what that is. Did you notice I actually acted like I was still touching yeah. it? I had a pager. No, but it was very good because I bought into it. Do you still have one? What a right. fucking easily led <laughs> idiot I am. But The Apprentice rocks. It's hey, a great yeah, show. There Please. you go, see? Tune in Sunday night. Are you allowed to and stay tune in one? early if you want to see me on the show? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh early earlier. exit. Oh, earlier. It could, be, could be a teaser oh, there. Oh, shit. I thought I you won the way. in either direction. You don't, yeah, know. You don't know. I don't know. Well, let's see. Dice has the record right now. Let's see if Brett can oh, beat yeah. Dice's record. Yeah. Yeah. Dice has only been been tomorrow. on for a quarter of an episode. Thank you. I didn't even get per diem. The newly married Andrew Dice Clay. It took back like $38 per diem. They're saying Brett has to go. Because you only had a few minutes. What the yeah. fuck? He's outside. What happens? I'll come back. I'll come back and talk more about ass licking and. Fuck All right. Yeah, he's, <laughs> when, and then uh, also the Apprentice. Did I mention? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. We'll get the word out. Guys, for thanks for having me. Now he's off to the you. Disney Channel over uh, here I'm to sure. talk about ass licking and. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this just woke me up. Now yeah, hey, go. now you're awake. Go oh, good luck, man. Go get a sewing channel. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you do well. There's, there's some niche channels here. <laughs> see you, Brad. The, the Lug Wrench channel. Hey, great to meet you. Nice to Thank you, you sir. Care. See you, bye. All right, Brad. Yeah, yeah, man. Brett Michaels Brett. from uh, the yeah, Celebrity Apprentice. Uh, we're we're going to have you back after they kick your ass off that show, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Skinner. I'd love to go. No, we'll come back to promote that shit. Brett Michaels, when he's on tour with Skinner. Pete books up. Brett. Who's that? Pete Papillardi from AGI. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. yeah he he would, are you with them? Yeah, yeah oh. he's with that. Yeah. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, he's my agent. Okay, I didn't yeah, know Yeah, he's our agent, so. And, uh, there's Pete, Dennis, and... Uh, yep. Alan. Adam. Oh, Adam, right, Adam. Yeah, he Adam. does Metallica. Yeah, All right, I'll let you guys... See you, Bye, Brett. Take right. care, man. Later, man. That's going to be a good show, Brett Michaels and oh, Skinner yeah. this summer. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see that. Play some Skinner, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we... we nice day in New York. It's too nice to hang out in the radio studio. We've done our time. You want to go smooch? We could. So what do we got to get done? Louis C.K., Caroline's, food, that's that's selling, 212-757-4100. We'll make it easy. You call them, they'll tell you what shows are still available. And we're all excited about uh, Louis' show that's going to be on FX after Thank freaking um, uh, Rescue Me. Leary. That's nice. Right. That's, that's a nice great, spot. Great spot. And then uh, that new show, uh, uh, Sons of Anarchy, their premiere, we also get to follow their season premiere. Jesus. So that'll be the biggest lead. Well, that's a nice show right there. Friends. And yes, then we sir. got Jim Florentine. What are we doing, Jim? Well, every Saturday night, that metal show on VH1 Classic. We're in the middle of fourth season. And then uh, this Friday, Mexicali Live, Teaneck, New Jersey. And then Saturday, Mohican Sun in Connecticut. Every Wednesday, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant. And the this Jim month. Florentine on Twitter, right? Mr. Jim Florentine. Mr. Florentine. Oh, Mr. Florentine. Oh, Mr. Fuck. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jim Florentine on Twitter. And I'll be in Chicago area this weekend. Friday, uh, St. Charles, two shows. Saturday, Zany's, Vernon Hills, two shows. And uh don't eat don't leave your oatmeal on the on the table, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 With this guy I'll leave this, your this oatmeal at me. This fellow's likely to likely to piss in it. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> get him a drink. Get him some oatmeal. Pissing it for me. <laughs> De Niro and Raging Bull. <laughs> doing his jokes. Pissing it for me. Oh, yeah. and one more thing.